Welcome, 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 everyone. We'll begin in just one welcome, moment. Welcome, everyone. We'll begin. Welcome everyone, we are back! Not really a bad week tonight, but uh, you know, just chilling, killing some time. I'm probably gonna be live for about like an hour and a half or so. Open VC and Discord in case anyone would like to join. I don't think Tim is up tonight, so I mean, just fucking yell at me in chat if I miss you. But anyways, how are we all doing tonight? I hope you guys are doing well. I have personally had a busy ass fucking day. I'm just uh, actually kind of pumped to uh, hang out tonight, to be fair. That's why I'm doing this. Also, oh, fuck. Gotta get all my shit together. There we go. We're back. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm pretty fucking hopeless without um, a mod or anything like that. But yeah. So again, I've been busy with IRL stuff. Last night I guest starred on the Sin Bin, but... I'll be frank, I wasn't, uh, I, I don't give a shit about Slug stuff. I mean, everyone wants to, like, rant about Slug and SNT and shit like that, which is fair. I mean, I'm always, uh, an individual that's down to hear some criticism and all that, but my biggest problem with the Slug situation and the SNT guys, I, I shouldn't even call them SNT guys, like, they're all individuals, but the whole issue with that group is that it's, like, constant regurgitated issues. It's like, they said one thing, he said one thing. And I mean, I'm not saying people aren't wrong in their criticism. I'm just personally a little fucking bored about it. I come on the internet for drama and, you know, bullshit like that. But once it's, like, the same fucking thing talked about for, I don't know, multiple fucking days and shows, it's uh, it gets old. It gets boring, you know? But again, I'm always open for everyone talking about what they want to talk about. I'm just gonna check uh, Discord. Make sure no one's waiting. Alright, we got Sailor coming in. Hey man, how are you doing today? Good, how are you? Not too bad, bro. Just fucking chilling, you know? Hell yeah. Killing have some... You... Sorry? Uh, I was like, this is a bit off topic, but have you seen the uh, Bad Empanada stuff? No, I haven't. What is it? You know who? Okay, do you know who Bad Empanada is? Maybe YouTuber. He's yeah. He's like this insane leftist guy who's like, <laughs> he's just fucking crazy, right? What's his uh, he's, Twitter? He's he's had like seven Twitters banned because like he tweets like just insane shit all the time. It's Yanni's Twitter or Yanni's Empanada. Yanis Empanada. Good luck if I can spell that. Y a n what? Y a n n i s Empanada. Oh, um, this guy? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> there's no like, T. There's, oh, no, no. There's no T. Okay. Let's do this again. Y-A-N-N. I-S. I-S? Yeah. Uh, empanada. Oh, um, dude with a profile picture of a beard? Uh, no. Wait, I don't, let me... Uh, yeah, okay, I can see if I can send you his profile. <laughs> no, here I can explain the lore to you. Yeah, this guy for is sure. just like insane. I'm always and, like he made like. That shit. I mean, do you know anything about the uh, uh, Xander Hall drama? No, I've been like out of the loop today. That's why I was just like I was gonna go on a fucking. Well, this rant. is yeah, this <laughs> is really old Xander Hall drama, right? Where like his girlfriend like went on Twitter to like expose him for like it, like abusing him or some shit, but then like. <laughs> It was like it was a really weird saga where like his girlfriend was like, "Oh my god, Xander Hall like stole all my stuff. And we broke up. He won't give me any." Oh, stuff back. yeah, yeah. Actually, I do know about yeah. the Xander Hall thing. I think I made and a then, fucking video about it. 
Yeah, no, and then this, and then I remember making a video on this guy because he came on like the screen. It was like, well, she's just trying to appeal for like people to cut. Like she's trying to appeal to him on Twitter, and he's like shitting on her in a video. That's not right. This person, it, like, she's just trying to appeal to get her stuff back on Twitter. And I was like, hold on a minute. Obviously, if he doesn't respond to this stuff, he's gonna get like hate. He's gonna, yeah. it's gonna damage his reputation. She was like people a are gonna think he like wasn't a she? Yeah, yeah. yeah it, okay. it was turns out she was going back to jail, and that's why he had all her stuff still. Okay. So, like, <laughs> so I mean, like this guy just had an absolute, absolute awful take. So uh, that's the lore, though. Okay. And then the new, the new drama is it just he tweeted out basically that if you're a veteran and you kill yourself, that's like justified because like you're paying for your past <laughs> Holy crimes. Holy shit! He just pissed uh, off all of America. <laughs> dude, he's actually insane. That is fuck. That is actually some fucked up shit. And like, I mean, like Kaylee's pretty fucking down the uh, the far like left fucking pipeline. With like, not even like that. That's actually just fuck. No, like, that's inconsiderate. You know what I mean? He's just crazy. I don't. <laughs> when did when did you tweet this? Like today? Uh, it was a couple days ago. But wow. the reason I bring it up is because I made like a video about it, being like, look at this like idiot, right? And he commented, and now he told me to come on stream. Okay. So hopefully, yeah. Here, I could, the tweet, the exact tweet is, Every U.S. veteran suicide is a criminal bringing themselves to justice. Wow. It's just, it's, he's crazy. He's insane. That is really fucked. I know. What, like... <laughs> talk about hot takes. Holy <laughs> fuck. What a tweet. I bet he had some fucking backlash for that. Has anyone else covered it? Like Destiny or anything like that? Or uh, Nicholas Dorio tweeted it. Besides that, I haven't seen anyone. I'm sure Xander Hall, like, tweeted about it. Okay. Because, like, they hate each other. But yeah. I, Xander Hall has me blocked on Twitter. So I Why did seen. Xander Hall block? Why, like, AD30 is just like, Xander Hall has me blocked, too. I was like, <laughs> why? What did you guys It's because I added it. I've... What? Because when the Mr. B shit was happening, I added him in a tweet where it was like, because uh, like he was one of the people who came out saying like, "Oh, Mr. B's curing all these blind people is like that okay. or whatever," you know, like one of those dumb fuck. Takes. Oh, did he have like well, the whole take that there um, was like uh, Mr. Yeah, B? There's like nothing like he's doing it for his own fucking game. Yeah, it's like helping people. Yeah. yeah. I, I, so like I added, <laughs> I added him in this tweet where it's like a video of like. It was just like a meme video of like what people expect Mr. Beast to do or some dumb shit like that, and then he blocked me. Austin No Powers says a fucking um, he's blocked. This makes me. I wonder if I'm fucking blocked by him. <laughs> like everyone's like crazy. coming up saying he's fucking blocked by Xander Hall. Let me check this out. It just makes me curious. Normally, like when everyone comes out saying this dude has you blocked, it's yeah. Ah, uh, Xander or T X Xander. Uh, X Y. Oh, X Y. Sorry, this is. Or some wait, no. Random D and D. X A X A Alexander. Oh, maybe I do. He doesn't come up. Yeah, it's just. Wow, I don't even. What? Why would I be blocked? Oh, I did make a video on him. So, this is yeah. Xander Hall also low-key dumb, but oh uh, yeah, a... <laughs> I've never been a, I've never been a fan of him. Like even like his takes, I know some people are fucking yeah. like diehards for him, but I've never actually enjoyed his content. He's kind yeah, of he gets like, like a shitty destiny. Mm -hmm. He just get he. The thing that sucks is Demented's in the waiting room. But uh the thing that sucks oh, yeah, is, is I'll, like I'll pull him in, sorry. he gets a lot of like unnecessary like bullshit hate where it's like these criticisms don't matter at all, right? So it makes him seem like a victim and then he just says like <laughs> Oh no, I'm not I'm not fucking by shit. Him. Um, huh. Oh, that's interesting. Huh, neat. Alright, I'll pull Demented. Yeah, the guy, the guys uh, always had some bad fucking takes. I mean, again, yeah. like I don't have any personal beef with him, but he—he's not the fucking. What's smartest up? Guy. What's up? What's up? What are Honestly, we about? Uh, just shooting the shit tonight. We're talking about Xander yeah. Hall and his meth fucking addicted girlfriend, and some leftists that basically said any veteran that kills himself, uh, they're basically doing a good thing. Yeah. You know, just shooting the shit about fucking drama today. Abby Blackbird. Zan's GF and I follow each other. She's a sweetheart, but that doesn't take away that she's a meth head. 
<laughs> I mean, you know, meth heads could like be good people. I like absolutely. True. But they they are still a meth head. <laughs> yeah. Once you do meth, you can't come back. Dude. Actually, I have like and a I funny. Stopped. I have a fucking funny story about a meth head. So like, I used to like party a lot and all that. But this was like, I don't know, within like a few years ago. And um, okay, Abby, there's no proof, but let's be honest. It's just also funny to call someone a meth head at the end of the day. Also, I mean, I could care less if she is or isn't. The narrative is that she is, other than his word. I mean, is there any like concrete proof that she is like? Uh, Did she actually oh no. get arrested? What, wait, <laughs> she's going to jail, isn't she? Yeah, she went to jail for a while for substance of, or, I think she went to jail for a while for having drugs in her car, but she like claimed it was like her friend who yeah, like, was using them. Yeah, I do her. remember that. Because was didn't Xander Hall was. like wasn't he a douchebag and posted uh, a police report about yeah. it? Like, <laughs> okay, Abby, I get what you're saying. Let me like go back on my word. So like. No one will know 100% because it's actually officially, like, legal shit. But, like, mm. she is being, like, she did get arrested for something very similar to that. Involving drugs or meth. She had someone who was with her on probation, but, like, why would she be charged then with it? Yeah. If she had well, I think someone it's, Even if you have it in the, I think it's if you just have it in the car, you can get charged. But I'm not sure. I guess, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so it was mandatory search on the car and they were charged. Yeah. Okay, like I get what you're saying, Abby. I'm not saying you're wrong or anything. I'm not like, you know, gonna be like, Abby Blackburn supports meth heads or anything. I'm just, you know, it is what it is. I just find it fucking funny to call someone a meth head. But, um, I met this girl one time. She came over to my fucking house and, like, me and Kaylee were kind of having, like, a, you know, get-together sort of thing. And literally her eyes... Yeah, like, have you ever been in those, like, situations where you're just, like, chit-chatting about common fucking things to hopefully, like, break the ice in a conversation? <laughs> this, this is, like, a co-worker of mine, too. And, like, we work in relatively, like, a pretty professional fucking environment. So we're chit-chatting trying uh, to break the ice and then like right off like honestly within the first like fucking five sentences this person's like I used to do a lot of math and then I like <laughs> sold myself on the street but my current boyfriend he picked me up and we're doing great <laughs> <laughs> just Jesus. fucking sitting there drinking I was like wow you dropped out on the first fucking time meeting someone I want to know like after knowing you for a year what fucking shit you're gonna talk about hell yeah <laughs> fuck Anyway, sorry for that random interjection. No, you're good, <laughs> you're good bro. So she said oh, yeah, she didn't yeah, know he had it. Yeah. What was that demented? Let's go snort some meth! I don't know. Yeah. I don't know why anyone would want to do any. Like, as someone who has done drugs, I don't, like, never done drugs that would, like, cause your fucking teeth to fall out. You know what I mean? Like, you know, it's, like, one thing to damage your fucking brain, but, like, another to, like, actually damage your physical fucking appearances. Like, yeah. I would, I would, like, go brain dead rather than have no teeth. <laughs> like, that is my personally, like, you know, like, the, honestly, if someone walks up to you and, like, and they see you fucking drooling on yourself and you're brain dead, they'd be like, oh, look at that guy. He probably had something happen to him. But if you see someone on the fucking street with no teeth, you're like, look at that drug addict. <laughs> I'm like, I'd rather be considered, like, fucking brain dead than, like, I don't know. Yeah. Not having fucking teeth. I feel that, bro. Right? The older I get, the more, like, fucking about my physical appearance. Like, I already gained a lot of fucking weight already, and, like, I don't know. I look like a fucking yuppie, but at least I have teeth. <laughs> like, <laughs> I just find it unfair when people label people to uh, people bullshit things. As a Zan has been doing a whole ass mess himself. That's okay. Like, that's fair, Abby. I, I get that. Like, you're right in that regard. Like, I don't know these fucking people. I already think Xander Hall's a fucking idiot anyways, and I don't know his girlfriend, so... I get your point on it. I understand. I'll, I'll stop calling her a meth head for the fucking stream. I'll call them both meth heads. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Capital City Pop, how are you doing, man? Thanks for coming in the stream. Also, Abby, you're, you're more than welcome to, like, coming to VC if you want today. It, there's no, it's yeah. not really, like, a blood sports or fucking much shit on everyone's stream. It's just chilling, you know? It's very chill. Uh, that's what I'm hoping for. I mean, I, I could end this stream at any fucking time because, you know, I'm old. I might just get fucking sleepy. Uh, I was watching, um... 
some of fucking Jalen shit today, because you know, of course, um, I've been Jalen. Hey, Jalen is like a guilty pleasure of mine. I, the quartering used to be a guilty pleasure of mine when I watched that guy. <laughs> and I'm being fucking serious. I have some YouTubers. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I watch them just because I find them fucking ridiculous. And like, I know it adds to the problem. Like, oh, you're watching this person again. Yeah. Monetization, whatever. But like the quartering was like for the longest time. I love that guy's content because he was so fucking bad until he started like at more than half of his fucking 10 minute video was like promos and then i'm like ah this is just fucking lame now yeah <laughs> uh, but Jalen is now my new guilty pleasure and i know like i'm not even like going into like the issues like with her personal life or anything i just mean like the content itself is like a personal yeah. guilty pleasure you make everything political what she makes everything political and I mean, yeah, some people have to, though. Badwick likes the cringe. Yeah, if you see any of my old fucking videos, you would understand that. My very first, like, YouTube video was some bullshit fucking vlog, and then the next one I made a video playing with fucking potatoes and, like, fucking summoning Biggie Smalls. Like, I, I know the cringe, guys. Um... But yeah, uh, fuck, what were, where is I going with this? Oh yeah, I saw like Jalen's video about um, the AI generators. That leafy AI generator is actually fucking like pretty spot on. I know, man. Uh, right? I did one with, uh, <laughs> I made one with Papa Gut. That I... <laughs> did you? That's yeah, fucking it great. <laughs> it's my, I, I just set up my donation link. It's going to be like my TTS thing. Is it still on the, like, uh, on there? Yeah, it's on my, it's, it's like, yeah, it's like... Here, I, I want to pull this shit up. It's it's not that accurate, but <laughs> whatever. I, I won't fucking see. I love this shit. I added a little a little animate. It's not an animation, but I had a little graphic. I don't I don't know how to describe. How it, fucking but... far down is it? <laughs> it's like twenty three hours ago. Oh, oh okay. Here it is. You don't mind if I pull it up on stream? Oh yeah, no. Of and course. if you really didn't like cringe soy content creators such as myself, you sh hey pop hey. Hey, Papa Gut here. Just wanted to stop by and remind everyone that Sailor has a donation link. Here. If you really didn't like cringe soy yeah, content creators good. such as myself, you Actually. should click the link in bio and send it. Uh, uh, the beginning is really now. good, and then I just hey, like, Papa Gut here. Yeah, just, yeah. That's actually pretty fucking good. <laughs> yeah, I'm currently just fixing my gaming gear right now. Hell yeah. Your gaming chair? Yo, like every time I come down to my basement, I find another fucking screw on the ground and i'm pretty sure it's just actually my chair slowly falling apart so one of these fucking days i'm just gonna eat shit on the fucking uh, floor during like probably during a stream or some shit but uh i think of a nuke in a mini video i'm getting shredded again for september capital city pop like all you fucking do is work out bro like you say oh i'm getting shredded i'm like you're already like you just go to the gym every day anyways uh, Abby's in waiting room. Oh, okay, thank you for that. I don't have fucking Tim tonight, so I have to fucking do this shit on my own. What's up, Abby? <laughs> Hello, Abby. Hello, Sailor. What's up, you guys? Not much, uh, actually. Just, you know, shooting the shit about random stuff. I saw you got uh, into a little bit of uh, beef in the fucking um, waterball discord. I didn't even... Beef. See the problem? No, it's not even a problem. Um, I'm at a point where I just don't care anymore because um, people like fucking doing that shit over and over again. And I'm like, this is why I'm not participating in Fireball because I just don't have the time to, or water whatever ball. the fuck, Waterball. Excuse me. Uh, Waterball was <laughs> because I don't have the time to fucking deal with randos that like are, are calling me fat and then want to be like, oh, why'd you block me on Twitter? I don't know, probably because you're fucking annoying, you psycho. Oh, so you actually, <laughs> like, don't know of that person or anything? Like, I, I've um, been lurking a lot, Other so. than, like, randomly, they've, like, called who knows however many people fucking pedos and all that other garbage. I'm like, you're just not worth my time. And then the other person, I'm just like, but, you know, I, I'm i a kid of, like, business owner, so I'm like, if you have any questions, feel free to leave me. <laughs> I saw that. like, don't put your drama in here, bro. Like, it's not what this is for. Act like a fucking adult. Yeah, I saw. I, I, like I said, I've been, like, lurking and shit like that, but I've been at, like, fucking kids' birthday parties, you know, like, Ew. family fucking dinners. Like, it's it's been fucking busy. It's a I busy don't miss any of that. Kid. We legit went to, like, a fucking birthday party at, like, a fucking pool. And then, like, within half an hour... Is it cold? What? Like, a, like an indoor pool. 
And then some oh. fucking kid shit in the pool. And I was like, I am fucking oh dumb. <laughs> Yo, I was so fucking grossed out by that. I was like, I hate That's fucking gross. public places. Um, yeah, it's like already like a 50-50 shot of you like going into a pool in public in the first place. And then you have like, you never want to go in a pool after that. Like, I would imagine like you're not going to go in a pool like, for a very, very long time. You know time. what? I get the fucking science behind it. I get like the chlorine fucking literally kills everything. Yeah. But I'm, it, it's still just like a gross fucking thought. I was like some fucking three-year-old shit himself in the pool. Um, Dude, you guys are literally disrespecting my culture right now. What the fuck? I'm a lifeguard. Are you Dude. actually? You have are that like. Okay, so here's yeah. my take. You probably can have like the loudest fucking voice out of everyone in this fucking chat. Like, I, I bet you if you lose your shit, your voice can fucking boom. Because every lifeguard I met, like, there'll be like a pool of like a hundred fucking people, and then like they're chill and all that, and then like all of a sudden, like, get the fuck out of the pool! That's so true, though. <laughs> right? Yeah. Like, out of nowhere. Because, like. In fairness, in fairness, it's not out of nowhere, okay? What you don't see is all day these fucker, these like little <laughs> these fucking kids. Fuckers. Like, like, okay, a kid won't even, like, I'll just like give a kid like a general reminder to like do something like, oh, don't run, and they'll fucking roll their eyes at me. Yeah. <laughs> that shit gets me going. I get, I get mad after that, okay? You best believe the next kid who runs is gonna get it it doesn't, it doesn't matter who capital city pop wants to know if you save lives uh, i've had like two saves that's good but they weren't they're not that like it's not that big of a deal like i just like both times i like reached into the pool and just like just grabbed fucking them. yanked them out that's what, that's what someone that saves yeah. lives would say <laughs> <laughs> it's so no fucking true Yo, Dementor! I don't really even know how to swim, and I grew up What's next up? to the beach. I fucking hate the beach, so I've, I'm, I'm, I, yeah. That's I'm not I'm a beach at. person either, actually. Uh, I random, hate the beach. Random question for Dementor. Dementor, are you a PSW? I'm a what? A what? PSW, because don't you work in, like, a fucking, like, mental health ward or, like, insane asylum? I'm an MHP. What, what, what's the acronym? I'm not American. Mental health technician. Oh, okay. Do you feel like he's in another room, or is it just me? He's like probably on the ground, fucking like fixing his chair. Yeah, he's like, my I'm chair's not broken, not guys. Chair. I'm just like, are you in the hallway? Like, where'd you go? Guys. Dude, the, probably the grossest thing I've ever had to do with the pool is like one time I had to clean like part of a tampon out of the pool. <laughs> like, I, I used one. I used one too. That shit was nasty. Yeah, girls are what? fucking gross. Yeah, I would have taken like a bleach bath. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> well, I just like I used like... the net, but. Ugh. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that's good though. Yeah. Oh man, that is fucking nasty. But you know what's actually nasty? So like, Kaylee won't do any of like the gross fucking jobs in my house or anything. Fucking wet hair is disgusting. So like. <laughs> The kids and fucking Kaylee ended up clogging the, um, our upstairs sink, and, like, nothing was going through this shit. I dumped as much fucking chemicals as I could in there. I was, like, getting fucking high off the fumes, like, coming out of the fucking sink. <laughs> and, like, honestly, for, like, a day, I was like, what the fuck is down here? I ran, like, uh, you know, like, a plumbing snake? Like, uh, it's just, like, a big, long yeah. metal fucking mm -hmm. thing down the drain. It hit something, and, like, it just wouldn't go fucking down. So I had to actually, like, remove the whole fucking pipe. It was a mixture of hair and fucking toothpaste. And to Ugh. this day, that was, like, one of the grossest fucking experiences I've had. I used to do a bit of plumbing also on the side. And a really another gross fucking story was, um, we went to this, like, uh, townhouse, and it was ran by, like, a bunch of fucking girls. And they're like, my sink isn't working. This stuff's not going down. Can you just, like, um, fix it? And again, same sort of situation. Like, we ran a bunch of chemicals down, all that. Wasn't working. So we ended up cutting the fucking pipe. And I kid you not, have you ever, like, made mushroom soup? Like, you know how that shit comes out of the can and it has, like, the same fucking shape? So I was, my buddy Ooh. cut the fucking pipe in the wrong spot and he didn't realize I was standing underneath it. And like this blob of like hair, vomit and tampons came out and it hit me in a way where it got in between my face and my oh. fucking mask. And I, I, I swear to God, I puked for like 10 fucking minutes. It was like, Ugh. I just felt fucking disgusting. I had a beard. I had everything. I shaved everything off my fucking body. Like, it was disgusting. Yeah, you've got to at that point. Yeah, you, yeah, no, 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 no. Hall of Shitwick. No. Also, Capital City Pop, no stories. Why not? I have, like, lots of fucking stories about my life, man. 
Dude, yeah, it's better than listening to these tards just talk about, like, random e-whores online. No, like, I'm let him tell so... fucking stories. Fuck off. Like, no disrespect to, like, any of the, um... I, again, I hate calling them the parking tigers people because they're all fucking their own person people. Um, and slug, but I'm I'm so fucking tired of that shit. It is so boring. Yeah. It is like I don't blame you. You look so miserable. <laughs> I, I, I felt so bad for you. I just I, like I, I told I told Demented that I'm like I felt so bad. And like, cause you guys should have not been having to sit through fucking his retardation. But if it makes you feel any better, I did a Twitter space with uh, 8030 one time, and yeah. I was like co-piloting with him three fucking hours. I sat there and listened to Slug for three fucking hours. I wanted to fucking die. I just, I was like, I can't. I gotta go. I gotta go. I can't. Again, like, uh, like, I don't have any issues with Slug, and I don't have any issues with, like, the other guys. It's just, like, it was a s continuous circle. Like, I even, like, poked fun at Demented about it a little bit. I'm like, <laughs> everyone hates Slug. Everyone thinks he does shitty things. We got it. Like, Slug hates them. They do shitty things. Well, that's the thing, opinion. right? It's like, and there's just a trying... circle of the same shit. When you are trying to do a show, right? Like, whether, most of the time, most people in general are trying to just have fun. And so if you're going into a show, and especially if it's your show or whatever, like, take control of the situation. If it's more than, like, ten minutes and you're not getting anywhere, like, just move on. Also, no Demented, point. I say this with love, bro. I'm not even, like, dissing. I'm just, like, I'm lately, like, every show I do like, in the last three fucking streams has boiled down to, like, slug and, like, park and tigers people. <laughs> it, it's not even, yeah. like, it, it was just, honestly, I'm just, like, so fucking bored of it. It's not even that I don't care. It's just the same shit. I'd rather, like, just... I don't blame you. ...make fun of someone oh, else on the think, internet. If you fucking think for a second it's all over for now, like... <laughs> oh, King Jim! Uh, hey, I'm welcome. And apparently some happened today. Howdy. Uh, going on? Oh, it is you! I was like, who the fuck is King Jim? And I'm like, ah, it's just the British guy. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I don't know. What what happened with Slug? You know what? We brought him up. We said his name three times. What? Tell me what happened who with cares? Slug today. And it's always a fucking different thing. Who cares? Honestly, Who's just uh, my advice, ignore him. Like, and if you don't want to ignore him, then do whatever. Just and <laughs> just know that on the off chance, he's probably going to be super fucking annoying. And there he's you go. There's Terrence, sir. He's oh, actually, Jim Bob hates him, too, actually. I forgot about it. <laughs> Capital well, City Pop, like not ever. the British like, guy. Not... Yeah, I've, like, known of him for fucking ever. Like, since, like, I literally saw him on Chris Hansen doing the interview. And then, like, since then, I've just seen him, like, fall on his face over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. And, yeah. So that, I, and I've had him muted, blocked, all that shit for the longest fucking time. And that's where he belongs. Even when we had our little, like... Can shake. I was like, you're still, you're still gonna be muted and put away. I don't need <laughs> no problems, but no problems. Yeah, I feel that. I, I get that. I like, you know what? With all my dramas too that I get into, sometimes I always try to like make amends or like at least like walk out with like a neutral understanding. You know? Hey, and that, and I'm not gonna be the type being like, oh no, you can't talk. You can ask demented. I've never once been like, do not talk to this person. It's just like, just be aware that like this will probably happen in, and it'll probably happen again <laughs> and that's what it is you do what you want to do but you know everybody's got to create their own boundaries i'm not here to tell people what the fuck to do <laughs> yeah that, that's a fair take um my city has officially a documentary made about it how uh, shitty it is on uh, on crave now it's a uh, thunder bay I guess, like, um, if the whole documentary is about, like, all these, uh, indigenous kids going, like, fucking killed and shit. We're, like, the murder capital of fucking Canada. Nice. Right? It really just made the- Congratulations! It really made the fucking place I live sound like a shithole. And, like, all of the documentaries, like, the police are corrupt here and racist. As a white person- They're corrupt everywhere. As a white person watching this documentary, I'm like- are white people Bruh. bad? <laughs> white people are the scum of the earth. What do you mean? I feel like everyone. Well, I I don't know about you, Abby, but um, D uh, Demented's like Hispanic. D Demented, do you do you yeah. think white people are bad? No. Honest opinion. It's okay. <laughs> I do. I think white no. people are bad. I think that uh, white women. The average white woman's fucking annoying, but like, I mean, he's like, not wrong. But also, the man's not like wrong. Most women being annoying too, so like, I'm kind of in that train too. Like, I, I've I, come across, I've come across your average white 
racist pick every now and then, and they're like, "You goddamn Mexican, you, you motherfucker!" And it's like, "All right, all right, cracker." <laughs> all righty, <laughs> Damien. Keep it pushing, Holmes. <laughs> you know what I actually found out? Like a um, an acronym is for like a white girl that like someone like interracial dates. They refer to them as snowflakes. I just felt like so fucking old for not knowing that the other day. Oh I, really? I thought snowflakes was like people that are like SJWs. I, that's what I always that's what I always, that's what I always thought. But it, like it I was, thought it was snow bunnies. Was that's it, it. I was wrong. Snow no, bunnies. that's when you do snow bunnies. Never mind. I'm not going to say cocaine. What that is. It's okay. We can talk <laughs> yeah. about cocaine yeah. on the street. I'm all right with that. <laughs> That's what, yeah, that's a, that's a home that does a lot of blow. <laughs> you know what? I get that. I get that, though. That, that to me, makes sense. Um, but, yeah, yeah right. no, I heard about, like, uh, I have, a, like, a friend that's, like, uh, black, my token black friend. And uh, he was, like, dating a white girl. He was, like, so fucking happy about it. But that's what he, like, referred to her as, is, like, his snow bunny. And, like, she was literally a stereotype, like, fucking, like, 110-pound blonde girl that was, like, hey, guys! Like, oh, my God, oh my look how progressive I am. Oh, my God, I would die. Oh, my God! Shut up, bitch! <laughs> Leona kind of knew and eyes. only. Yeah, Leona. Patrick has one favorite, black friend. <laughs> LOL. It's true. I have one one friend of every race to then protect myself. Dub. And I also have some handicap friends to say that I'm not ableist. <laughs> All I'm saying yeah, is those people is from the bad ones, man. <laughs> What's up, Jim? I was saying, they can't protect you from the band hammer. Jim, don't put your ban on Twitter on me. You're still salty for getting banned on Twitter. I don't even know what the fuck I done, that's why didn't I'm salty you like, about it. Wait, didn't you like make a threat to someone though? No! Like, I was trying to think about your situation, you're like, how do I get perma banned? And like, well, if you threaten someone, or like, even like pretend to threaten someone that can get you a perma ban. Like you actually have to do something. No, I didn't I shitty. didn't threat any I didn't threaten anyone though, that's the thing. <laughs> I am not a person that'll go out and threaten people. If I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do it. And obviously I can't do shit on the internet. Why am I gonna fucking threaten someone? Because people threaten everyone on the internet, like all the fucking time. That's yeah, that's have you way. been on Twitter fucking before? Idiot. Or in Discord? Like, literally, all the time people tell them to go, like, you know, off themselves This might This might surprise you to know, Badwick, but people are fucking idiots, that's why they do that. True. Like, you don't have to tell me that, like, I'm a fucking idiot, but like... <laughs> yeah, but you're that. the kind of idiot that doesn't go around threatening people, you're like me. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like I've threatened, like, to have them before, I don't know. No, I don't think I've ever, like, threatened someone with, like, violence or anything. I told one guy he was gonna, like, get his mom knocked up, but that was about it. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm saying. I only, like, that's, I only that's a minor. Hook up when, like, people are coming at my friends, but other than that, like, no. Like, don't usually take shit that personally. No, I, and see, that's also, like, part of my beef of, like, the commentary community is that, um, all these fucks in the commentary community, like, Oh, I'm so hard, I'm so edgy, blah, 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 blah. And then, like, the moment you get any sort of fucking criticism, they're either like, I need a mental health break, or fuck this guy, blah, 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 I'm gonna block them. Or then they make, like, five videos <coughs> about a person. And it's like, yeah, it's weird. You guys are it's soft. like, oh, so can you, like, can you, like, not take criticism? Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? It's just a, it's just a trend, though, I've noticed online. I'm so thankful I spent, like, the last six years before I was online, like, heavily offline because holy fuck bro Jesus just like ha have any of you ever just been a bully in real life before like i was absolutely a yeah. douchebag in high school <laughs> that's yeah. what i was like i don't know and then like kaylee fucking like bullies me all the time so like i don't know she <laughs> says worse shit than anyone else can to me i don't know i find the internet oh. soft at times making five videos mean you let that person live in your head rent free True. I mean, I I agree with that, but then I also disagree because, like, if you make five videos about Dream, and you're obviously, like, if you're a small YouTuber, you're gonna hit more than 1k views. Like, there are things you have to milk for, like, views sometimes. Like Creep it Show. Depends who the it was like a month of Creep Show. Yeah. I actually didn't, like, really jump on that train at all. Like, at all. 
I like watch people there. talk about it, but <laughs> right. I don't like. I on like you're out, honestly correct. I just wasn't on that side of the internet. Thought... For me, it's weird. Like I have like hit my tweets from like you know a year or so ago pop up when like when I've like interacted with her in the past, and it's shit like that's fucking weird. And I feel like it's gonna be the same once Salvo comes back or once like you know it's a year from Salvo and all that shit. Like oh my god, I don't even like. It's just gonna be weird how time flies so fast online. Yeah, I noticed that actually after I turned 20, I was like, time fucking flies, like, in general, like, way faster. Uh, Capital City Pop, your wife scares me, Badwick. She scares a lot of fucking people. She is, like, I want to I mean, hang out with her. She seems fun. She's a communist. I just have to let you know that. Like, she firmly care. believes in, like, communist. It, that's a red flag. Don't you fucking think, and If Abby? she's not hurting kids, <laughs> I, if she's not hurting animals, what the fuck do I care no, about? No, she, she, she like, political beliefs are. hey. Abby, what? I'm telling you, she's a communist. That's a red fucking flag. So I'm just I saying, I'm warning you. She thinks white men are bad, but yet she's with a white man. It's hypocritical. Ooh. It's I mean, true. Like she's a Nazist then. What, what'd you say, Jim? She's a Nazist then. A Marxist? Yeah, actually, no, she like firmly like believes in that yeah. shit. We get into, like, fights all the time. She actually believes I'm, like, a Nazi. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm liberal. <laughs> like, how the fuck am I a Nazi? Because they're white, that's racism. Badwick, you're not I'll white. You're a ghost, bro. Anything in your white when, is racist. When you believe that, oh, somebody is this just because of their race, that is, in definition, racism. Yeah, that is true. When you, believe, racism, when you believe a stereotype that is like a form of race, like stereotypes racism, are a form of racism. Racism has been a thing before America was even a thing. That's not that long ago. You know, like America's only like fucking like less than two hundred years old, bro. True. Like America's yeah. pretty fucking. No, I'm old. talking. I'm talking like <laughs> ten thousand. Bro, like, racism, was, like, existed when, like, fucking, like, it didn't have to be, like, even, like, a racial fucking thing. It was, like, there's town over there. Here's my town. Fuck that town. Yeah. I was, just, I was like, actually just watching Oompaville's video with the, that vegan teacher. She, he did two of them, and I was listening to her talk, and she was talking about how, like, she, you know, she got all this hate because she said something about being, like, anti-vegan is the same as saying the N-word or something. And it was taken, like, totally out of context, I guess. But the way she was talking about it, like, it was making sense, and I was like, oh, that's actually kind of a wild way of thinking about it. It's more of, like, a group of people, but, like, yeah, I, that's why I don't do labels and all that stuff. Here's, it's just here's, stupid. Here's something that'll break her fucking, <laughs> her little fucking view, right? I bet, My she's, little no, view? I bet she has, no, I bet she has no fucking idea about how, like, you should you know watch it. It's really good. It's really insightful. No, I, I think don't she's very like her. Fair. I don't like her because she's fucking stupid. Austin wants what to know you? my opinion of Jews. <laughs> one, one. She seems to ignore the fact that around those factories that grow the shit for her to eat, they kill every animal, every bug, everything around that area. In Canada? Yes, everywhere. Any of these fucking. I don't know. I'm not. Like, I don't Wait, like, sorry, just, like, Demented. I people. missed that. Austin's comment made me fucking laugh. So um, it's like, so it's like, these vegans they talk a big game of defend the fucking animals, but when it comes to the factories that make their fucking food and their fucking ingredients, these factories kill any and all animals around the area of that factory. Just I mean, like, all, that's, like, an argument you can use for, like, all factories, though. I just think, like, I get what you mean. Like, yeah. it's ironic that, like, they preach all that and, like, you know, it's vegan and all that shit. But, like, that that's, like, every. I'll be right back. You can find yeah. flaws in every system. I mean, you do that till fucking kingdom come. I just think it's super interesting in any fucking walk of life to hear other people's side of it. And especially because she's been so demonized in the media, hearing it straight from <laughs> her was super fascinating. To be fair, I don't like vegan teacher. <laughs> and, I mean, uh, she's a little cuckoo for cocoa puffs. Don't get me you, wrong. Okay, she's look at the look at the tweet. Headstrong. Look at the tweet she's I put in general. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll check it out. Who, who the fuck is pinging me on Discord? What, and what fucking server? <laughs> just, what? That's a real video, by the way, that she made. <laughs> Bro, someone just fucking fell over outside my room, and I'm kind of scared to go out there to see what it is. Why would Bye, you? Right? She, Dude, I'll go do it. Yeah. Are you? Yeah. Oh, so okay. That gets me on. Uh, so did any of you guys see? Uh, hey, ghosty boy. Um, <laughs> did any of you guys see? Uh, 
Oh, fuck, who tweeted it? Before I talk, I should really get my fucking thought, like, fucking compiled. Um, who was it? A Kavo or Kavos's uh, tweet about Dream performs abortion on his 14-year-old sister. Did any of you guys see that? Here, I'll share it. Oh, yeah, I did see that. So I actually yeah. did, like, a, I, like, recorded a YouTube short before uh, going live about this shit. And uh, have any of you checked on that channel? I can't bring it up on stream. But you no, should I check haven't. out the uh, the channel uh, Jizz Sensi. Or Sensi, <laughs> I don't know. Wait, what? Here, I'll type it into my uh, my general chat, but check this channel out. It's... Dream performs abortions on his 14-year-old Check the channel out. All Adam. right. It, it's a hey, wild yo. fucking channel. Like, it's obviously like a troll channel, but it gets me when like YouTube will demonetize someone for a fucking F word, but then they let like shit like that slide. Oh, did you see that Vice had a, um, a, a video recently on um, uh, um, uh, various sexual activities, including water sports? And it's just like monetized on a, on a YouTube? It's because Vice it's is a journalistic company. YouTube's always been like biased to like news companies. And <laughs> Journalist <like> my <laughs> ass, bro. <laughs> on this channel, it's top 10 Sigma males. And the All right. Thumbnail is, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. is Jeffrey Epstein. It, it, oh, like, no. It's not a serious channel, but like, I bet you some people Jeez, will take it right. fucking seriously. I mean, they've got hello, they've got pretty good views considering. You know, oh, this is exactly. like Starman, but for like radical fucking like <laughs> insanity. It literally reminds me of the Darman uh, thumbnails. It just it just fucking killed me that channel. I was like, God damn, this is like something like you'd slip into at like three a.m. down a YouTube rabbit hole. <laughs> yeah. This pattern is. Oh god, I have to figure out a RuneScape puzzle. It's very as sharp as an arrow. <laughs> Can I just pick the arrow? How's everyone doing tonight? Not too bad, Ghosty. Honestly, just shooting the shit tonight. That's you know? cool. Yeah, no drama llamas. I love it. Yeah. Fucking well, there could be drama. <laughs> just like, I'm so fucking face. tired of talking Allegedly. about slug. Basically. I think we're all tired of that. Bro, even yeah. I was in the chat like, can this end? Like, it, like I know, Abby like pointed out, I know Kaylee is talking to like Ember and stuff, like being like, when the ones are going to move on, but I don't know. Again, I, I, I don't want to bring it up. I feel like I'm just going to like go on a rant about it again, so I'm just going to actually stop. I'm Sigma. Nah, yeah. What's up, Capital City Pop? Why do you... Fuck off, Capital City Pop, honestly. <laughs> what is you this? Book of Knowledge. Someone DM'd me because they looked at my Steam and saw that um, I have Hogwarts in my library. Like, yikes, dude. You got <laughs> did they? Yeah, I did. Angry Slug is so insane. Yeah, he can be. Um, I think he's fucking stupid. He is fucking stupid. Yeah, I mean, it's just stupidity outlies the stupidity, and it's just you can't get lost in the retardation. I don't think that man has a brain cell between his fucking ears, to be quite honest with you. So here's the thing about that guy. It's when he talks normal... He's relatively okay, but like whenever he gets like beaten back on a topic or gets criticism, he falls back to the character that he tries to portray. And that is like my beef with that guy. Like I hate the like fucking character he portrays. What? Yeah. My dick has a, has a stronger backbone than his fucking ass, bro. I, I, I want to swear yeah. too, but your chat is censored for children. Don't blame me, blame fucking Tim. He runs all this shit. It's, do you Fuck fucking, you, Tim. do you think I know how to run this shit on my Why own? I did you say shit? Why, so why, aggressive. why the fuck did I just say shit backwards? There why is your chat censored? I almost said chat. Tim is pro censorship. <laughs> Well, that's, oh, that's God, pretty... <laughs> Sailor, <laughs> asshole. Sailor, Dude. Sailor can say <laughs> asshole in it. <laughs> no, Tim, oh. like, all, all jokes we aside, Tim's, accepted. like, a great fucking mod, actually. He runs, like, my Discord and, like, all this shit. He just tries to keep my fucking channel out of trouble. But, uh... He seems like the homie. Tim, yeah, he, he, yeah, I know him in IRL. It's why I have him run everything because I don't trust internet people. Dude, that's how I try to have like actually people that are like not online all the time as my mods because like those are the ones that are like less crazy. Yeah, so, pretty like much. That, that yeah. way, if they fuck with you, you can beat them up in real life. <laughs> well, he lives yeah. in a different city now because I have to fucking be a scrub and move. 
But you um, still know where he lives, bro. That's Come true. Eh? I know his fucking partner. <laughs> I know where he lives. I know his goddamn job. <laughs> I feel, I mean, he knows all my passwords, like, so he can actually delete and... my shit. Oh god, yeah, never mind. Don't do my idea. No, I'm telling no, you, no, Abby, no, I'm I am like great dead with Yeah, shit. but I'll be back another time. Alright, later, Yo, Jim. peace, England. Yeah. Did a bit. <laughs> Y'all wanna hear a funny voice clip I got? Yeah, sure. As long as there's no end bombs in it. Everyone got really mad at no. me about that. But what? Wait, why? And bombs. <laughs> that was like part of my problem with all everyone. Ever, like so, like in uh, that one stream, someone dropped an end bomb, and I never accused anyone of doing it. I was like, ah, jokes oh, on me. Oh, who cares? Right? Who I was cares? just like, jokes on me. I should have known. Like, you know what I mean? And I took the vod down and uploaded on YouTube, so I didn't even get like any like issues with Twitch. But everyone was like, it was that person. It was that person. See, I said. Yeah. I'm like, bro, I don't give a fuck, and it was my stream. Yeah. <laughs> I like other people care about your actions for you <laughs> instead of what other people like it doesn't even make sense like stop telling me how I should feel about things I'll, I'll say this right now I bet you those people say that word in private uh, amongst her friends as in the joking manner like I don't care if anybody says where you can go ahead and call me that I don't give a shit involved in the fucking but, like, slug shit now Savo. No. Oh, he's always been involved with slug though. Demented. Yeah, yeah, that's that's fucking. Uh, I, okay, I'm making a roll. Not, we're doing half an hour without saying the motherfucker's fucking name. Cause I'm also, so fucking sick of talking uh, about Ghosty, did you DM me the voice clip or? Um... No, I was gonna play it right now. Oh, okay, yo, go for it. My dick doesn't work. Is that Salvo that? <laughs> or Ethan Clyde? That's ne neither. Is it me? My dick doesn't work. I don't Who's know. Who's that? Who's that? Who's That's it? Chris the Nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't Ethan Klein say the same thing though? Or no, he yeah. was like, "My dick's he, as hard as he, like a fucking." No, stick. no, he said the same thing. Like Chris was quoting him, but he said those oh, okay. words so, like flipped it on purpose. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> My oh. dick doesn't work. Wow, why did I guess myself? That was kind of fucked up. This AI shit has me worried. Well, because you don't watch porn, so I mean, it wouldn't be There's nothing wrong with possibility. that. It's perfectly sure. normal not to watch porn. Seriously. Okay. Also, like, it's even a more alien concept that a girl would watch porn. That Why? That is weird. No, that's <laughs> Because I'm sexist. <laughs> dude, just like, dude, just like girls pooping. Oh, yeah, right? Like Honestly, no, I, I'm on dude. Sailor on this. Like, before, like, I got with Kaylee... I was like, and I've had like, you know, shitty fucking girlfriends before, but like they weren't, they, they were real relationships. Like I lived with like two exes before this, but it was yeah. like almost like, hey, we're living together because it's like easier sort of relationships and like we just yeah. smoke pot all fucking day and you know, fucked. But like it wasn't like real life issues or like real fucking responsibilities. But uh, with Kalia, it's like everything became like so fucking personal with us. And, like, I swear to God, the first time, like, she took a shit in our apartment and I had to walk by and I smelled that shit, it fucking, like, it shook me to my core. I was like, this can't be fucking happening. No! I'm fucking like serious. That. Girls don't fucking poop or fart. Do you I not have like siblings? What? I feel like Bad Wick is You just... have siblings? Yeah, I do, but me and my yeah. sister have a nine-year um, age gap, so we were Oh, okay, really, like, yeah. Oh, I know, I was about to say. Goddamn. The, yeah, because um, I have older older siblings and younger siblings, but I'm there's boys and girls, and so I've seen massive everything, but very yeah. male influence. Where like I don't like. But they're your more... siblings. You're not like you're not looked at as a girl by your siblings. You're just looked at no. as a sister or like a sibling. It's different. Well, it's more male dominated influence of existence in my family than like okay. female. I, I assume everyone in this like voice chat right now has gone on dates. Maybe not demented, but like Dude, everyone what, here what, has. Why did you say it like that? Can't relate. Uh, demented. I said you don't go on dates. <laughs> but anyways, you no like it's never happened You'd to me. You'd be surprised. You'd but my fucking biggest fear is having to take a shit on a date. I, it is like an irrational fucking fear of mine. But I feel but like... But you're right. I got Tinder. Tinder? Aw. See, I had a... Oh, I've, God, I've never port. used Tinder. Mm -mm. Ghosty, so, do you use it? No. No? 
No. Yeah, no, I had a buddy who fucking used it, like, all the time. Like, he'd come over to my house pre-drink with me, and they'd be like, Hey, guys, I got a dip. And then he'd come back the next day and be like, I got with this girl. She was a super freak. Or, like, one time he was like, her pussy ate my dick. And I was like, what does that mean? He's like, no. Why, like, why stop? Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> like, the, the most yeah, random fucking really stories. Cool. Yeah, I had a buddy who would always hook do hookups on Tinder, and he ended up getting a girl pregnant. Ah! One night stand, and she tried to pull the whole child support thing on him, and it's just like, and it's like, lady, you do realize, <laughs> right? Like, like, they like you realize when you use Tinder to meet up and have a one night stand, like you realize, like. Mm, you're having a one night stand that they're not responsible for you. Wait, what? what Whoa, That's what? not how that works, Demented. That means both parties fucked up, is all that means. And now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's what, like. What? Yeah, what but game you're going, are you playing, man? You're going, in bro. Knowing, you're going in knowing that, like, oh, this is a one night stand. We're not gonna meet up after this. Sure, I agree with that, but then also, like, the terms- Like, I agree with that in all the sense of, like, you fuck this girl, there shouldn't be any emotional attachment, move the fuck on. But once someone gets pregnant, bro, that is, like, the whole fucking situation changes. Yeah, you're especially if they another reach life. out to you. And they're like, hey, know. I'm pregnant. It's okay to disagree. I'm not gonna, like, demented disagreed with this and make a fucking Twitter thread about it. But it's just like... I will. I mean, I think, that, <laughs> I think guys should be there for, like, if they get somebody pregnant. Yeah, I, I, I firmly believe that. But, like, if you're just trying to have a one-night stand, and both of you meet up to have a one-night stand, and never meet up again, and then you fucking come back five months later and track this person down just to be like, well, uh, you gotta give me child support, and it's like, you have made no Wasn't that, like, your friend's, like, fault for being irresponsible and not rapping his willy? Yeah. Or making sure she's on shit. So like demented, like or making sure, like, yeah. Here's the my blame thing. isn't all on the guy because I'm not why? saying it is. I, I, I think, I think the point that Dement is trying to make is like it's really shitty for the girl. Just like, hey, you fucking owe me this money, but I don't want you in the fucking life, even though we just had a one night stand. Well, that's you know a court what I mean? case. Yeah. That that can be solved yeah, in a court case. Like, it's yeah, like yeah. if you're not gonna make the effort to bring the guy back in your fucking life, don't expect money out of them. Yeah. I wouldn't expect money out of them anyways if they're I mean, that's a very me for a one night stand anyways. That's a very debatable, like, s situation because the fact is, like, that is a whole lifestyle change for both fucking people. And again, yeah. that is, like, you're getting into, like, the legality of it. You know what I mean? Well, it's kind of like what Abby just said. Like, I wouldn't expect money just from a one night stand person. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to, like, have a one night stand with the father of my baby. Like, that's not how that works. Like, yeah. that, that, like sure, that's that. Abby's, like opinion of it and like again it's ab that's how abby would act as a person but again like i feel like there would still be a mass majority of people i would say that no, abby's got an iud that shit's locked up like fucking <laughs> out there. Nobody's like getting, fucking azkaban shit. down there <laughs> yeah, I know, i'm so i had four sisters all of them got pregnant many many times and i got told my whole life don't get pregnant like your sister so i made sure that shit's fucking unlocked only thing i did right <laughs> so Capital City Pop said he met his wife on uh, Tinder, and then he dated my ex-girlfriend and didn't believe me when I told her she was fucking nuts. <laughs> Ew, I told you. You never date a homie's ex. Never. It's a rule. There's always that girl that got passed around a friend group, and I always like, Ew, you're danky. You've seen my friend's penis. Gross. If you date a girl that's being around, passed around the friend group, then you just got poor choice. I wouldn't say poor choice. I mean, it's just like danky, in my opinion, but it is what it is. You know, everyone needs pussy sometimes. Ooh, goddamn. Please. Yeah, just, I mean, sometimes some people just hit it missionary every twice a month. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, Badwick. Hey, I'm good with my missionary <laughs> Sundays. You should not be proud of that, man. Why? It's a lifestyle. It's comfortable. And I don't take my socks off. Well, you didn't have missionary I didn't take tonight, socks so either. Like, that's warm. Wait, you don't take your socks off either? No, it's warm. Right? Okay, so people were like, why don't you take your socks off? I'm like, have you seen my fucking feet? 
I got like fucking like sloth fucking toes. Man, I can oh. hang off of fucking branches with that shit. I forgot that it's Saturday. I, I was just going off of it being cold, but. Yo, yeah. I hide my feet from the fucking public. I got like size fucking 13, arguably size 14 feet. No one wants to God see damn. that shit. Yeah, I, I'm a big, like, I have big fucking feet, man. Abby Blackbird, convenient puzzle in. is better. Oh, convenient pussy is better than no pussy. That's fair. You know what? I, I, okay. So I have been with, like, girls that were easy. They didn't, like, sleep with my friends or anything, but, like, I also don't feel good about it at that same time. Everyone's been with someone that's easy that they're not proud of. I feel like, at least like hmm. you could be honest about it though. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I will be honest. Right, like how I've, old is this game, dude? RuneScape, like back, I think it's like 2006. The old. I'm purposely old playing game. like the old school one though. There is like an updated one, but that one's gay. It needs to get better graphics. It's purpose. Like it's, it's purposely shitty. Also, that is a game I have not heard of in a long fucking time. No, you Ghosty. Adventure Quest 3D? It's 3D now? <laughs> yeah, like, it's 3D now, but it looks, like it's, it looks like the new version of fucking RuneScape. Wow. Yeah, see, like, RuneScape tried to, like, people loved RuneScape for, like, what RuneScape was. A shitty, like, point-and-click grind game. But, like, when it tried to become, like, World of Warcraft, it just kind of got fucking lame. Because it's like, why not just play World of Warcraft at that point? Have y'all seen that video that video game Donkey did on uh, Hogwarts? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Capital City Pop. I used oh to be easy, great. then I got morals. Capital City Pop found Jesus like I did. These giants look like fucktards. Yeah, they're hill giants, bro. They're only level 28. They're perfect to grind on. And you get big bones from them to increase your prayer level. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It's RuneScape, bro. If you if you haven't played it, you don't get it. I don't get it. No, no it, it, it's it's honestly the game. There's no fucking other point to it than fucking grinding. Like literally, your skills are like um, cutting trees down, fire making, fishing, wood cutting. <laughs> like it, it, it sounds is, lovely. Yeah, and then, sounds like my kind of game. More like <laughs> lamescape. Fuck you, Doctor Uberhausen. I have 14 million gold though in this game. I got really good oh. at that shit. I'm fucking rich in RuneScape poor in real life. <laughs> um, what else? They need to make... Wait, what? They need to make CTR for the PC. CTR? What's CTR? Crash Chain Racing. Crash Chain Racing. I've never played it. I thought At first I thought you were referring to uh, Crazy Taxi for some reason. I was like, that game was fucking fun. Nah, I never liked that game. It wasn't my cup of tea. Well then, Ghosty. I feel like we're at it fucking disagree with because I think that game was fucking great. There's sales on Steam if you want to get a good game. Sales? Oh yeah, I, yeah. like I, I actually don't really game that much. I'm only, like I said, I'm only doing it tonight because I'm just shooting the shit. I didn't really have any fucking topics or anything. Well, I got Batman Arkham Origins for $5. Arkham Origins is Injust pretty good. <laughs> I got Injustice 2 Legendary Edition for $8. Yo, do you like the first Injustice better than the second one? I do. Like, for story or gameplay? Yeah. Like, gameplay, the second Both. one's better. Really? You like the second story better? Yeah, I like the stiffer controls. I don't... Like, if I'm gonna get into frame-perfect controls, I'll play Tekken. Because that's yeah, what the game is built solid. on. You know what other game's good? Fucking Soul Calibur. I haven't played that one yet. No, Soul Calibur is really good. Dr. Uberhausen caused me a fucking rage quit from it, though. At one point. Um, what else does it go talk about? Okay, well, uh, since we're all here, what is your take on Scott Walsh? Who's that? He's the guy that made um, the documentary, like, What is a Woman? We're going to start to get political here. I don't know. Have any of you guys seen it? No. No? Okay. Uh, so I just looked him up, though. Hey, is this the guy? Oh, I think this is a woodworking channel. Never mind. A also, woodworking channel. Yeah, that's, that's what the channel is. I don't. But Yo, no, so, he's like a right wing guy. So Calvert Six is on sale for um, ten dollars. Is that the one with the Star Wars people in? No, that's Soul Calibur Five, I think. You're yeah. lying. He's. This is a woodworking channel. I don't. I see no. <laughs> he's like associated with. Um, 
Ah, oh, what's his fuck? Like, all the right-wing guys. And, uh, that news station that fucking, uh, fucked Steve Chowder over. Oh, yeah. Uh, he's the like, Daily Wire? Yeah, he's, like, part of the Daily Wire. Damn. No balls. Oh, two, Love makes you 2B stupid. is in this game. That's hot. Nice. I might get this game now. Wait, you, you said Scott Walsh? Yeah, or did I say his last name wrong? I'm, I'm pretty fucking dumb with the English language. So. Are you sure? It's, isn't, isn't it Matt Walsh? Is that where Matt Walsh, that's it. I guess. Okay. I fucked up. That's on me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yo, bro, I just make shit. If I don't know something, I just <laughs> honestly make shit up as I go. <laughs> I enough, really fucking do. You can call me out on it. I'll always take the L on something, but like... <laughs> yeah, what, what's your take on that guy? I, I don't... I, I don't do politics. I'm no, honest. that's fair. I don't know anything about this guy. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. What is a weirdo? <laughs> we don't know anything. So basically, he made a documentary, and like, to sum it all up, he's against trans people entirely. Oh. Uh, and then, like, yeah, he disagrees yeah. with the whole idea. Agree! Agree with him! Agree! <laughs> he, he, like, oh. just, like, honestly, like, doesn't think, like, a trans person can be a woman. <clears throat> and, like, he tries to take, like, a scientific, like, take on the situation. And, like, it's... He uses very, like, he, he's a guy who, like, will argue using outliers and shit like that, you know what I mean? Yeah. But the, I one, mean, the one thing I will agree with him on is, like, the scientific research on, like, hormone therapy, though. Where, like, there, like, he claims it's harmful, but realistically it takes seven years to conduct an actual scientific study with, like, factual data. And, yeah. like, I agree on his point that there are people, like, coming out now because, like, being trans and like using hormone therapy it existed for a while like back in the 90s and shit and quote me like maybe before like the in like the 80s but like it really got popularized in like the mid 2000s you know what i mean and there are uh, yeah, now... I do. sorry no i do i get it. Like, yeah and now there are like because it's been going so long now there are people coming back with negative side effects and i do like think that um pharmaceutical companies are like a big issue if it comes like with the trans community because overall i'm very like open to everything i don't give a fuck what you identify as i don't give a fuck who you want to sleep with like why should i you know what i mean um but like i do agree that like pharmaceutical companies manipulate everything like they they will yeah. take oh, they do. like here's like for example like because the trans movement is such a like popular fucking thing right now it's easy for a pharmaceutical company to sell hormone therapy and like really try to advertise it and upsell it but like i think it's naive of people to think that there Fuck. isn't like companies taking advantage of this because it's just a popular movement and that no, is like, one Definitely. of like the topics he brings up in it but again i don't think it's wrong for anyone to like want to feel the way they want to feel you know what i mean no, I get you what you mean completely. Exactly. I just think it's like, naive to pretend that, like, some companies are doing this for the better of every. Look at insulin. Insulin is, like, the number one example of it. When these companies are like, here, we want to help you guys, and, like, we're here to help people with diabetes and make them make insulin free. <laughs> like, isn't, like, insulin, like, one of the cheapest ones to get? And it's still... Or manufacturer. Like, EpiPen can run you in, like... Luckily, most people are covered in Canada for the most part. Mm. I do think there are some differences in some provinces, but um, most times you can get an EpiPen. You know what I mean? But yeah. it's like in the states, I heard like some like just a single use EpiPen can run you guys up to like two hundred bucks. Yeah, which is it's fucking yeah, wild. That's what hot is. Hey, AD. Like, AD's in the chat or the voice chat. Yeah. Hey What's guys. Up, hey Badwick. Hey Assistant Sailor. Hey Ghosty. Hey Abby. Hey Watcho. Yeah. Um, what up? <laughs> Yo, what's up, bro? What you got oh. for us? Bro, you wanna know what's, like, really fucking stupid about EpiPens as well? What? It's like, for a while in high school, I had to get, like, allergy shots, you know? Because I, I, like, I was, like, really fucking allergic to pollen. So, like, basically, uh -huh. I just have a stuffy, stuffy nose year round. So, like, I got these allergy shots, like, help with it. Weak sauce. Because... <laughs> <laughs> were you a baby formula kid, or were you breastfed? <laughs> <laughs> I can't say I've asked my mom. Did you but... stay inside when the lights were off? How strong oh, is I, your gene line? I need a. They made me buy an EpiPen for that. Yeah. Like, they, uh, dude, I've never had a reaction. The worst reaction I've had is like breaking out from them injecting. It yeah. So like... stupid. Yeah, EpiPens are expensive. I know, like at my work, like every time we have to use one, we have to like write it off. But like 
I get, like, all the cost of, like, the medical shit we use, because, like, when we have to file it, because, you know, you can't just fucking take medications. Yeah. Some of the cost of some of this shit is, like, fucking ridiculous. Like, it really is. You know... Yeah, maybe if you guys just... Maybe... Maybe if you guys weren't so soy and, like, weak, you wouldn't need an EpiPen. It's true. But you were the one that had to get, like, an allergy. No, 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 no. <laughs> That was because I had a stuffy nose, okay? No, that's because you're that's so into right pollen. You're just that's obviously, pollen. you don't have any Norwegian <laughs> Viking blood in your fucking, like, genes. Like. Yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a goddamn, uh... Dude, I'm Irish. I'm basically, like... <laughs> I'm basically really oppressed. And really <laughs> just really oppressed. It's dude, in my jeans. <laughs> yeah, <dude. laughs> Sailor's dude, gonna I'm... get some like fucking dumb Matrix fucking wife at some point. I'm you. <laughs> it's I'm in my jeans yeah. to be oppressed. <laughs> you know, no, dude. I'm not white. I'm Irish. The fuck. Well, you know. Ooh, you got me. You're still your your skin tone is white, so this fits into. Um, <laughs> Actually, you know how we were talking about like racism, like fucking earlier on in the stream, <laughs> fucking like looking like the early 1900s and like the Irish in fucking New York. Yeah, dude. They were like well, segregated. Let me just literally it, black. Let, let me <laughs> just put it this way, real quick. You never hear a black man having a pollen allergy or a stuffy nose or using an EpiPen for anything. Because they would never okay, tell dude. anyone about it. All right. If they had to. <laughs> like so they, okay, they would keep that shit happen. secret. <laughs> Cap City in the chat. I'm not from Ireland, but my parents, like, or I think it's my grandparents who are Irish or some shit. I don't know. But like, I took an ancestry test. Hey. Aye, for, laddie. For assistance <laughs> in sailor and <laughs> Y'all, yep. y'all get offered a two point five million dollars. Okay. Wait, this isn't said. Are you married or have a girlfriend or anything? Is this gonna be like a would no. you rather situation? No. I love these fucking things. Not currently, well, no. Okay. Okay, well, just imagine you have a girlfriend or a wife or whatever. All right. Your wife gets offered to be starred on Blacked for two point five million dollars. Do you do it? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Kaylee would. She'd tell me to do the same if I got like an offer for that. A dick is just a dick, bro. At the end of the 2. day. 2.5 mil? I'm doing a lot for 2.5 mil, bro. I'm doing you, a you, lot. You gonna be in the video? You gonna be in the corner? <laughs> <laughs> You're the fluffer. <laughs> Rub me in. Rub me in, bro. 2.5 mil is 2.5 mil. Capital right. City Pop, I'm one eighth native Woodland Cree, but I still white. Yo, why are you putting your people down, Capital City Pop? You're just trying to claim that whiteness. No. Dude. I wish I was like some like, I wish I was like barely native so I could get like the scholarships for college, you know? Do you, does the states like, okay, so I forgot who it was I wanted to have the conversation with me. I don't, I can't remember if it was online or um, in IRL, but someone had a like conversation about America and, and uh, they're like, yeah, I just don't get why like you Canadians have so much native stuff. Like we don't have any issues with it. I'm like, it's because you guys won a war against your natives and actually like won the fucking war. <laughs> They're like, what do you mean? I'm like, fucking Colonel Custard and shit like that, bro. Like, you guys like French moment. <laughs> French. It's just ah oh, man. Native, where I also what? What's up? I know what game. I know what this. Oh, I just you ever watch Clover Kai? Uh, like, I have, but, like, not, like, consistently. So they made, like, a little, uh, mock-off of RuneScape, and I just realized that it was a mock-off of RuneScape. It's just based off the graphics, and... <laughs> yeah. Yo. Like, do y'all have wizards or anything in this game and all that? Yeah, we have wizards. You can be a okay, mage, yeah, then... you can be an archer, you can be a thief. Actually, you're just everything, because, like, all your skills are fucking together. And yeah, this is that was just knockoff RuneScape. Holy shit! So, um, yeah. Sailor, what happened with you and Joshua Putman? Bro, why <laughs> <laughs> so demented? Wanted to wanted to talk to him on Waterball, so I DM'd him. Okay. And then he sent a DM back. He sent his phone number back to me. That's so oh, no. fucked up. And he was like, "My, this is my phone number. You should spoof the number." So you can spam call people. I want to make it look like I am spam calling people. Watch, he's gonna DM me on Discord later and say, Hey, just so you know, those accounts are not me. They're impersonating me. Oh, true. And, I should, yeah. 
I should block him on Discord. I haven't done that. <laughs> yeah, he's he's gonna he, like, dude. How many times is like are people gonna say who impersonates you? And also, dude, like, like who? You should know by now who's impersonating you. Like, I don't even know. Like, you're just I don't know, man. Go away, dude. <laughs> yeah, have you guys seen the like the schizo on Twitter who's literally like just calling everyone like a pedophile? Oh, uh, that's oh. like fucking half the people on Twitter, bro. True. No, but this guy like created an account for the sole purpose of just like spam everyone's mentions, like to call them a pedophile. Oh, it's just crazy. That, like, that's like standard fucking Twitter shit, to be honest. <laughs> when did Demented leave? Did he like say that he was leaving, or did he just like dip from know. PC? The chair got dipped. him. The chair got. I just like I feel bad if he like said that he was dipping. But wait, Sailor, you should get pot off a water ball. Wait, that would be funny. Would he come <laughs> on, dude? He probably. I don't want. I don't want him on though, because uh, he literally admitted to me that he was one of the people who helped pour and bomb <laughs> Salvo's event, and I was like, "Damn, oh. that does not make me want to." I mean, he's a but he's a funny guy. You know? <laughs> yeah. Is he like an older guy? He sounds like an older guy. He has a kid, yeah. bro. Yeah. He said he's like. He said he's like. We're talking about feel like. He said he's no, no. He told me in the space he's like forty three. So. Okay, I just he sounds like an older guy, talks like an older guy, so. That's all. He, uh, he's he's older funny. than like, he's older than Kim, I think. So. Damn, he's um, fucking ancient, man. He talked. Yo, yo, ass sailor, butt pirate. Oh, <laughs> about who? <laughs> Me, bro. I'm the. <laughs> He's... No, he made fun of like assistant sailors like profile, like or not profile, like his name. Yeah, on my Twitter. name. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but, but his Twitter like so funny. He told me no. He to he's the one who told me to name myself butt pirate. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yo, see, he was trying to set me up. Okay, so like. I don't know about any of this IBS or whatever it's I like. They're like little like, no, 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 like the uh, whatever their community is called, right? Like uh, that side of the internet. I don't know much about yeah. it. And he was like trying to get me to like equip this profile picture of like some guy, and then like spam this other guy's like and like go through all the people that follow him and follow all the people <laughs> to like make them mad at me. And I was like, I'm not doing that. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> it was just crazy, bro. Yo, so are you worried about Fireball at all? Like, running, like, the uh, event or anything? Like, do you have your shit, like, figured out? Not really. It's just, uh, <laughs> not really? Dude, we got him on lockdown, okay? That's like, good. <laughs> I don't feel like anybody on the, like, on it is too, like, unhinged, you know? Besides, like, Lunar Parks, I guess. But I don't even think but that he's guy a he's a master gonna... of chaos, bro. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I mean, isn't Slug right. on there? Isn't Slug on there? Okay, yeah, but I don't think Slug isn't gonna like porn bomb my stream or anything like that. So, I'm not, uh, yeah, but... Fat Cat's on him, so I think it just sucks. <laughs> Why did you leave uh, Ghosty originally? Because I don't. So my whole thing is, I want to have fun. I want to just be like fake drama, fake blood okay. and all that. But uh, Fat Cat is like taking it personal. I'm just like. Yeah, do you- I don't know a lot of the Fat Cat lore. The only reason oh. I invited him uh. is- Yeah, the only reason I invited him is because I know, like, the Domino people really hate him. But, uh, okay. none of the Dom none Domino- none of the Domino people wanted to come on. The Domino people are really weird, like, Domino, Poser, and all of them. I don't, like- I mean, no, I'm- I'm- Yeah. I Poser, been, like, it's chill when he's not in the group. Like when yeah, you're Poster's like, a little chill. I didn't like when you're with him one on one or like in a small PC like this would be. He's more chill, but like when he's like jumping into like the whole spaces and all that. Yeah, like, like server calls, he just like unhinged. Bro, when he joined the Augie server, new server, and then he like you he, he he kept donating on because Augie made his uh, server while he was streaming, and yeah. um. But so he kept donating shit to him. Hey, Augie, making you make me money. He was like begging, and then someone told. Now to be now, Poser didn't actually raid my server because Izzy Pan said, um, Poser down, Poser raided there, and then like all on modern for a bit, and then and then since he kept being kind of annoying, people kept timing it, kept timing it out in like uh, Augie server, and he kept going in everyone's DMs and be like, please untie me out, untie me out, and then everyone, everyone would show it in like Izzy Tan and Spawn now would show it, like oh, the yeah. DMs just say, yo, he's complete. Please time me, stop timing me out. Untie me out. He did that. He yeah. did that same. 
the same thing to me too when other people would time it out time them out my server i was like bro well, that's because he was like playing this fucking sound war when people were trying to talk in that thing so yeah but to get to the fat cat thing it's that ap shit you remember that okay yeah how is he involved in AP? Because that's his best friend. Oh. Also, Fat Cat is. <laughs> yeah. If you don't know the lore, uh, Fat Cat is once part of the Oracle News team on the. Oh Fee. no. <laughs> yeah, and oh, Fat geez. Cat. Uh, you know, Fat Cat. I, I don't know. If, I forgot what the messages were, but apparently Oracle was allegedly sexually like talking, talking with Fat Cat in the server. Now Oracle oh, is in his late twenties. Fat Cat is sixteen. Um, so there's man. that whole concert. There's that whole like little slugs gonna end up joining in now. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's how I I knew I knew Fat Cat from the Oracle News team. Did I, I I don't know if I did I did I know them before? I don't think so, but I knew them like because we're in the Oracle News team. So yeah, yeah. and then that Oracle News team yeah got exposed because Oracle dropped his doc. Slug and Slug, GG Evans said, exposed Oracle for, for allegedly, you know, unmodering a server like NSW and miners being shit in there. And then apparently he allegedly, like, was talking sexually with my, like, I don't know if it was borderline sexual or maybe, maybe it got to the point, but maybe it, it was, it was probably still weird enough less with miners. So, yeah. Hey, yeah. That's yeah, yeah I, I remember the whole Oracle fucking shit. Hmm. Yo, well, fuck you, moral, Chris. Moral of the story is, I just I don't want it to get personal in the f- water ball thing. I want to have fun. Yeah, but that's fair. I, I just know that that's not going to be fun at all. Oh, I feel it's like water ball is going to end up being like a shit show for some people. I feel like some it, competition will be fine, and then others it'll be like a shit show. I'm going to say this right now. Lunar Parks versus Murdoch Pop is just going to be a shit show because the Lunar Parks is just unhinged. And exactly. It's, cra- it's gross. It's terrible. All right. I mean, <laughs> no. isn't Lunar Park just a troll? Yeah. yeah he's, he's a just, failed like, he's troll. He's a good one, though. He's right. a thing, yeah. Like, Kaylee called him out on it. Kaylee's like, you're all, shitty. <laughs> like, all he said to Izzy Tan, no, you, oh, you talking about Izzy Tan? Oh, no, no, wait. Y'all talking about Izzy Tan being the penis? Yeah, he tried doing it to me and yeah. Demented, and he's like, I got you guys. I'm like, got me on what? Like, I'm just, I know. Like, like, I'm just chill, bro. Uh, it's just a failed one. It's not even funny. It's just like, oh, you know you said that, huh? Like, no. Yeah. All right. I hope feelings get hurt. I'm so excited. Uh, Since you're here and no longer in Fireball, what are your Fireball pre- or Waterball? What are your wa- <laughs> What are your Waterball predictions? AD two. Gonna... You're, you're not involved either. So if you want to throw anything out. Okay, I'll go like Ghosty go first, and then I'll go. Okay, Slug Sag- versus Saggy Melons. Saggy's gonna win. Okay, Lunar Parks and Murdoch. Murdoch. Uh, Power Within Austin. Power Within. Who? Okay. Uh, one of Slug's people. Yeah. Um, no, wait, no, one of Slug's like uh, he follows like uh people. He ro- he follows like the Ralph shit. Uh, you know, okay. Yeah. yeah. I, just, I just know one from Slug's stream. That's why. I'm pretty sure he's like a ga- like he's not chill a Slug. Oh, okay. He uh, comes into my spaces a lot. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, that's Have how you. I know him. Uh, me or Orange Man. I don't know. I want to say Origin, but I haven't heard him talk. Cause you just, I don't know. Okay, that's I cool. I haven't really heard you get into it, so that's why. CJ Brown or Luke? Uh, <laughs> I'm going to pass on that one. <laughs> uh, Grim's List or Repair Gain? I don't know Repair Gain at all. Oh, uh, dude. They're their profile picture with them, like the kid with them or something. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> dude. I, I put everyone's Twitter profile in except for Repair Gang because, like, I felt weird putting like their kid That's in like fair. the poster. <laughs> so I like, what is he though? Like, what picture. is his channel? Yeah, I don't what, know. What, yeah, tell us, Edith. You're, you're the lore expert here. Repair Gang. I actually don't know much about. I, I think he. I, I think we follow each other, and he. I think I talked to him once on a space before. But okay, his his. Bio says, my name is Andrew and I'm a commentary mechanic. I'm a perfect mix between commentary and small engine repair. <laughs> I want to say repair game because it's like Nerd. mechanics, but mechanics okay, so are unhinged. Four, okay, so he has 4k <laughs> subscribers and he makes like... 
he makes like mechanic videos, I guess. Okay. Yeah, repair game, repair game. A mechanics okay. are unhinged, and they. Yeah, I like out. I like Grim, but like I don't know how like I don't think Grim's like able to like. Oh no, I'm out. going for Grim because he's he has an accent Grim. and he's just gonna shit on them. Naturally, no, Grim is the that. hey Grim is the zoo file master, you know. Oh, like right, everything zoo file. Don't say master. Don't say master. <laughs> okay, say no, no, no. Okay, the Honey. zoo file hunter. He's the Chris there you go. of zoo file. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Even that's wrong because Chris Speaking Hansen doesn't about... do anything. He just has a voice. Speaking yeah. about zoo files, y'all, y'all see that default Dan bullshit? Oh my god, oh, yo, Plague Moth oh, got yeah. in on that shit too. <laughs> I think it's clear that the S and T no, was fucking with ever, default Dan. No, we we all know that AD. Thing. We all know that, but that shit's funny. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait, is this new or is this old? This happened it's today. It's, it happened today, Abby. Yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hey, line. we didn't finish with the prediction. We didn't finish. No, we, we didn't. No, okay, okay. Ro no, Rose Mullet or Bunk? Rose Mullet. Really? Mm -hmm. Rose oh, Mullet, yeah. actually. Rose Mullet, yeah. She's percent. totally unhinged, and I, I'm here for it. I'm living for it. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm a Rose Mullet stand for life. Bunk just yeah. talks fast. Out, oh. Like. Functus. And you just make words as if it means anything. Oh, why yeah. are you guys repeating Spondell's talking point? No, just kidding. <laughs> um, A-OK -okay versus Flatley. Flatley. Okay. Uh, Leah something or Amber Lily? Leah something. <laughs> You're I mean, so you fast on that. <laughs> Fat Cat or Beaver Man? Uh, I have to say Fat Cat because Beaver Man... He's a Chad on the camera, but he doesn't talk. Is he? he doesn't. He doesn't talk with his chest. Okay. Does he have a chest? He's like. He, in my opinion, yeah. he's like five inches tall. No, like, he's. he's, he's <laughs> Abby, you know those. Like, uh, you know all those the time. Football players like, even in he high talks. School? No, like, but like he si He paid two dollars to like simp, like get sympathy to Dumpy on a live stream over rum. It was the most pathetic thing I've ever seen. I'm yeah. not even gonna lie. Dumpy gang for life. Okay. Yeah, but Beaver Dumpy Man. Gang is, for life. Beaver Man looks like a Chad. You know, he has like that. That little um, scruffy beard, that backwards cat. Does him not make like, him a bitch? I, I mean, that's not <laughs> what I'm saying, but saying if he talked with his chest, he would be rolling. Abby. Just saying. Sure. Uh, right. I'm demented and Pizzle. Pizzle. Oh, I was like, I told him about that too. I was like, Pizzle. Pizzle's yeah. gonna destroy you. <laughs> Pizzle. <laughs> He's demented. Like, I'm gonna beat her. I was like, I don't know. Here's the I've thing. seen her go off. Demented needs to find someone he knows. That's no, true. he's gonna he's gonna bring Dement's gonna bring up the map pitch at hundred percent. Everyone brings that up. Everyone yeah, brings that up. Do you think up. that bothers us? Like, do you think map pit bothers us people? How many, that, like, how many see has to add his fucking dono sound? Yeah, who cares? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, Dement's it. What is the what? Okay, what can Dement's use against Jessica? That uh, um, I don't. Well, what according can to the commentary community, it's a cardinal sin to be a woman, as per the whole fact that like the Spurg Awards, she won over. Oh yeah, that's right. The spread awards. Fact of months of a you're, you're I don't think yeah. he has anything over Fizzle, to be honest. Oh, my bad. All right, Padwick. All right, all right. I'll I'll give my prediction. Okay, now. run through it. Slugger uh, melons. Oh, uh, saggy melons. Okay, Lunar Parks or Murdoch? Uh, honestly, Lunar Parks. Okay, Power Within Ooh. Austin. Uh, power with it. Okay, Orange Man or Badwick? Uh, Orange Man. Okay. that guy's fucking entertaining. <laughs> no, that's fair. Yo, don't worry. I'm not fucking pissed. <laughs> uh, CJ <laughs> or Luke? CJ Brown. Okay, uh, Grimm's List or Repair Game? Um, Grimm's Repair Game. Don't, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for Grimm. Okay, Rose Mullet or Bunk? Uh, Rose Malay. Uh, A OK -okay or Flatly? A OK. -okay. Uh, Leah something or Ember Lily? Leah something. Leah, okay, sorry, I said fucking name wrong. Fat Cat or Beaver Man? Um, Fat Cat. Uh, Demented or Jessica Pizzle? Jessica Pizzle. Okay, who do you guys think is gonna win it all? I think. Hold on. That's a good question. Okay, wait. So pretty much on the end was on the flip side of it was a okay, orange man. Then there was Pizzle. Who else? Um, Fat Cat. Awesome. Uh, I wish I had a pen or paper. Yeah. Who? And Grim. Um. Who else? I. Because you guys were pretty much in line with like everyone that you thought was going to go to the next one. 
Yeah. Yeah, they for, were uh, actually. Except for Lunar. Let me go. Flat Cat, Lunar, Jessica Pizzle, uh, Flatly. Oh, well, you guys split on that one, but I'm yeah. going to go with. Uh, I'll go with AO. Uh, who is AOK? AOK is a guy who calls into my space. He calls into a lot of commentary. He calls into Doc Stream. Uh, he calls into Tyro Stream. He calls into. Dude, my I, space I literally don't watch any of those. And he like, sorry, by, no offense, buddy. He used to go by Enigma. So. Oh, I know Enigma. Ah. I know Enigma, yeah. He used to go by that, so he changed to AOK. Oh, yeah. I'll say him. Overall, and, you think. Then, uh, oh, my bad. Sorry. No, 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 you're fine. No, no. And then Orange Man? Who's Orange Man? He's that ADK YouTuber that does, like, um. He does, like, actual, Orange. like, fucking, like, videos. Like, with I know stories. him because apparently, um, Nick didn't pay him or something. That was the whole. Nice. Yeah, that, like, uh, me and Orange Man have known each other for a while. Uh, he used to be in the commentary group chat as well. But, uh, he does, like, uh, Backrooms videos. He's, like, made his own series based on, uh, Filthy Frank shit. No. Uh, and then he just, yeah. like, on Twitter, he, like, comes into, like, commentary topics. He doesn't really make commentary videos, but he does, like, get involved in, like, yeah. shit on Twitter. Yeah. Me and him, like, um, spoke and, like, well, have laid out our rules as well for, like, fucking, he's like, not in, He's not the orange guy that's involved in, like, Edwin's community, right? Because there's an orange dude that's in Edwin's community, too. I don't think so. I don't think he's in Edwin's. Hey, wait, why, why, is there, why isn't there bad with bringing Gino, you know? Oh, Gino no. won't do it. Gino always, like, runs back on, like, the, um, like, I can't do this because of Keemstar thing or, like, uh. Flakes. And I like, I would have loved to do Gino, but, uh, uh yeah. <laughs> I, I like, I, yeah, Gino's been telling me to do a podcast with her, then every time I ask about it, I just get nothing. <laughs> Dude, why does everyone have to talk to Keemstar so hard? I don't know. Sorry? What? Nothing. No, what'd you say? Yeah, you, you can't, like... Why does everyone have to talk for Keemstar so hard? Well, Gino's uh, been, like, working with Keemstar, though, like, actually, on, like, I know, payroll. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah, Gino's that's not, a sweetheart. That's not, like, cocking, that's, like, that's, like, being paid by someone. Yeah, like, they've yeah they've worked for them for drama alert for a long I, time. I, I know, I know, but the fact that I don't know. Yo, it's Keemstar. Like behind the scenes, Keemstar probably takes his shit super seriously. So like, if Gino's yeah. on Keemstar's payroll and says like no, some stupid shit, like it just sucks because I think bad with Gino would be for Gino. That would, would be, be great. Way more. Yo, Kaylee calls Gino the only one here. So I, I did a stream with like Gino and um, Kaylee and uh, Lamp. He used to go by Wildebeest, but shit got like fucking like ridiculous, and we ended up closing the stream at like one a.m. But they ended up fighting till like fucking five a.m. in the morning. Wait, over what? I oh you over to like to it was like Gino. It, it's not like recorded. It was just like us uh, arguing it's... in Discord. Wasn't it the conviction rate or some shit like that? that it was basically, yeah, that's how it started. Uh, and, yeah. like, it was, like, Haley asking Gino for proof and Gino saying that they had proof but then not providing proof to it. And then Kaylee's like, I'll wait here for the proof if it'll only take you ten minutes. And then it was, like, Gino saying, well, I'll give me ten minutes then. And then they just kept fucking screaming. Wait, proof for what? Other. What happened? What was this? For, it was for like them convicting uh, pedos. I Kaylee think, has right? like a big criticism of like internet detectives and doesn't really think they do anything. But then Gino obviously was like, "Well, we actually do shit." Oh yeah, yeah. Was what it's it totally it's to. totally uh, mispracticed, especially in this fucking community. So but like, the, it's it's definitely mispracticed online as far as any semblance of internet investigating. The one thing that I will give Keemstar is that one where that uh, swatter confessed on on like the whole recording too yeah. and they use that in the courthouse to like as evidence where he confessed to and that was mm -hmm. like kaylee's point though she was like if you actually can prove the evidence then show her and she'll take yeah. it as like a realistic thing but at that point it just boiled down to them fucking screaming at each other and then yeah, it became you... sorry sorry go ahead no go ahead go ahead go ahead so then like that argument boiled down to like something about like trans like rights or some shit like that and like gino's kind of like a centrist for the most part but like i don't know i don't even like really fucking remember like what they're arguing but i think it was like censorship like and all that shit and like i said kaylee's pretty far down the left fucking pipeline so she was like why should someone have the like why shouldn't someone be penalized for like going up to someone calling someone a f like a like the hard f word you know what i mean 
And then, mm. like, they were arguing about, like, what is right and what, like, should be allowed. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> Kaylee's like, that yeah. wouldn't be fucking feel good if someone did that to you, would it? And Gino's like, no. But then Kaylee's like, then why should it, like, be allowed then? And then he's like, well, f- censorship and freedom of speech. And then Kaylee's like, so if I say this to you, you're going to get mad? Yeah. And then, like, so they got into that whole, like, pipeline of, like, an argument. And then it boiled down to, like, Jesus. Online, I wish I was there. Cause I would have, like, it was broke all this down in the stupid terms. Yeah, because I'm really into true crime and, like, obviously just I've looked in the prison system and and all that stuff along the way. But, I I mean, on simple, basic things, if you look at, like, 10 years of a dictionary and the words we add into it, you know, every year, I mean, even just, like, in a month-to-month phase, I mean, Riz was, like, a popular word. I have no idea what the fuck it means. It just makes me think of Razzles. Mm -hmm. But, like, all words constantly change meaning. So you cannot just penalize people off of a word that totally could change in 10, 5, 15, however long years. I think that's just kind of outrageous to be so. Yeah, like they they were like debated about, but at that point, I think they were just like fucking. Right, right. No, I'm just saying, like, it's so easy to break this shit down to like super basic core things. Um, Right. But if you were opinionated on it on on one side or the other, yeah, of course, I'd be fucking exhausting. And then, on that Riz. Sorry? To comment on the Riz thing, Eva pointed out, I forgot what fucking word she said, but it just came from that. Like, Riz is a new. How, you know, how, um, Bad of people had, you know, Bad oh, you got people? some what game. No, I get, what it, I get the like, I get the idea of it. But I just don't yeah. care to fucking learn. Like, it's not gonna be in my fucking <laughs> vocabulary because I, I have like a higher IQ than fucking double digits. Like, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, I get what you mean. Yeah. It's just like it's fascinating to see like the new uh, slang terms everyone comes up with, like Riz. Remember when swag was a thing? I remember oh, my yo, math swag. teacher got like super stoked yeah. when he used the word rad. Because he was an old man. I'm like, oh, Bro, like okay. <laughs> like, I did a college God. project and for um, a business class where we created fucking swag shoes. And every time you fucking uh, walked, it said swag. Swag, swag, swag. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You remember that, that video? There was a video where the, there was a son and it, he was like sitting on the car or something. He goes, swag, swag, swag. It was yeah. so funny. I got to find that video, bro. Oh my gosh. Um, I said something earlier about the whole default Dan thing. Yeah. Here, Here's a screenshot of the tweet. In question. Oh no, I know. Quote, how is streaming to five fucking viewers, ass clown? Yeah, I owned it because it's my fucking animals, dipshit. Or is your head that kicked in by bunk that you need to make up whack takes and sit on your ass and do nothing? And this is in reply to CJ Brown saying, I didn't expect you to fully own up to bestiality. Wow. <laughs> Yo, that shit was funny. Like I said, like even fucking Plague Moth retweeted it, and I was like, like me and uh, shit chatting okay. about it. I was wondering where that crossover was happening because I yeah. saw the crossover and I was like, what the hell? Because I, I love Plague Moth. I've talked to I, him. He's uh, a fucking sweetheart. Yeah, I me and Plague Moth talk. We we're like pretty fucking chill because I was like talking oh, to him, him. His, like doc, no, like his dachshund situation, and yeah. we both have kids and shit, so like we chit chatted yeah. about that stuff. But and this um, is. A- this is the only time I'll give the PT and all of them a W because like please make make th- things like this happen more. This <laughs> oh, shit is saw funny. That, yeah. No, 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 no. Because that's the thing is they they try to do that often. You got to just let it like just be like cool, great moment, and then move on. Like don't. Oh, no, I, I get what you yeah. mean though. Like it's too much. Um, it's too many. Uh, red. Fuck, I don't even know the words. I dick. I can't speak words. It. Their um, misdeeds don't um, cancel out their good deeds, as in. I played the fifth. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh, um, but, but I get as, what far you mean, as, as far as Flake I... Moth, what were you saying, uh, Badwick? I don't fucking know. ADD. You're, oh, talk- fuck you're, me, bro. you're talking about the doc scene with because. Oh, the, the yeah, that's yeah, yeah, just yeah. how like we started talking. Was like through his like uh, dachshund situation and all that shit. Yeah, I haven't really. I talked to him a little bit about a situation regarding you know. A whole other thing I can't really talk about, obviously, but um, uh, I, I thought it was kind of sad to see him stand up for Keffels when that shit was first happening, and then like for it to kind of fall apart and turn into nothing the way it did. I'm like curious to know what his like opinion or stance on all of it is, because um, I don't know. I think there's a lot of misinformation as far as like all the stuff that was being put out and peddled by her and stuff. Yeah, he, he's Matt. been like critical on like. Keffels. I actually think that was like one of the few times he ever tried to get involved in like kind of the commentary side of shit was like his criticism of Keffels. Who are you guys mm-hmm. talking about? Plague Moth. Plague Moth. 
He does like okay. not safe for work like gore videos and shit like that. That's oh, like, so cool. Yeah, I, I like his stuff. It's like tier, like if you're into like that type of shit. Oh, oh, damn it! Never mind. And like his when he used to have his dreads or his braids. Oh my gosh, I was yeah. obsessed with them. Yo, oh dreads seem, they, the dreads seem like a big fucking pain in the ass actually to like manage. Well, they definitely are, especially for how long his fucking hair is. Yeah, no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what do you guys think about fucking Susan leaving YouTube? Think it's a good. I thing hope we don't have to thing? use mm -hmm. NFTs. A Jew for a Jew ran over. A Jew took over YouTube now in Indian. Isn't oh he God. like Indian? Who's Indian? The, like, the Indian guy, guy that's running the... YouTube. He's like an yeah, NFT, yes, NFT bro. Why? Why do you? Why does it always have to be sketchy people? Okay, <laughs> just they have they have money and there's no, like you you're gonna be involved with sketchy people. Dude, imagine if like Badwick's YouTube channel, well, if Matt it, it turns into an NFT, like an yeah, NFT I would fucking thing. find that ironically funny. Like it would suck, obviously, but like ironically, I'd find it fucking funny. Ludwig's supposed to do a um sh uh interview with him. He asked him. I watched it in one oh, of his newer off? videos. No, 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 with uh the new dude, the new dude. Neil Mohan. Me? I'm not gonna learn that. Neil Mohan. I'm supposed the to new... do an interview with him? No, Ludwig is doing oh, an interview with I was like, like fucking CEO Chadwick. I was like, what YouTube. the fuck? Have a good night, guys. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, my, oh, like, my night. IRL name's Chadwick, so I was like, what? <laughs> what the fuck did that, this That sound close to Ludwig. 100%. Yeah, so, because he did an interview with a, what's, who's the other girl's name? I, I don't even know. Susan? Susan, Susan was, was, um, was with Susan Wawiki. Wawiki! Susan Wawiki. Like. That's what I do for Mudahar's girlfriend. I'm just like, I used to call her a McFluffer Nuggets, even though now I know her name's still Jingle, because I earned the follow when I kindly got the shit on Tipster. It was a good time. Um. Well, and I got to pretend to be Mudhar, so that was fun. Oh, I um, heard the Jangle follow after the after they went in a fireball to the so. Yeah, but you didn't get to pretend to be Mudahar, dude, to like relax. Oh, when oh, when did you <laughs> pretend to be Mudahar? Let's let this On the Keemstar show, dude. That was the whole oh, bit. Oh wait, that one. Oh, okay. That Oh. Oh, when you tricked her. I'm okay. just I'm just fucking yeah, I'm I'm being playful. I don't really like it's just funny to me. Yo, I guess you can't use your phone number for two factor um authorization uh unless you pay for twitter blue Apparently. dude has anyone noticed that twitter has been having problems and glitches like every week i have yeah um, i've had issues like not like consecutively but like spontaneously with like twitter it, it unfollowed all noticed. my following like the other day it was yeah. horrifying and the thing is i can't even like tweets anymore without going to the app yeah so, same thing so i annoying. have the exact same problem man Wait, what's that? What do you mean? What um, do you mean? So, like, by I'll, that? if I'm on my phone, I'll like a tweet and then it won't like it. It'll, like, actually, like, no, so if like... I get a notification, it won't like the tweet from the notification I get. I have to go to the app manually, see the tweet, and then have to like it from, from the app. Is that an Android thing? I have an iPhone 12, so. Oh, I don't, I mean, I'm just not using. I don't think I get alerts and stuff for. Put it tweets and shit though. Your your oh. mic was like cutting out and it literally just came out that like it sounded like you're just like fucking grumbling at like AD thirty. No, I was just saying <laughs> like, like I don't really follow <laughs> like I don't. <laughs> Sorry, I start mumbling and stuff because I don't mean I don't like want to be rude. Why? But Who um, cares? no one hears feelings. <laughs> I do. Um, I don't think you're gonna well, hurt AD God, every feelings. see everybody's fucking feelings get fucking hurt. That's a fucking problem. We can handle anything. AD, are and you I'm supposed to be over here being an fucking Android? perfect. What? I said, would you be upset if I have an Android phone? No, I used to have an Android phone in uh, eighth grade, but uh, I switched that shit uh, to an iPhone. So Man. I used to have an LG, you know. Oh, that's so. the worst. Yeah. LG suck. Same with Google phones. Or no, anyone else have anything fucking else going on? I might end up fucking uh, calling it quits for yeah. the night, unless anyone Wait, else Patrick, has anything. I have anything. a question. I just have a, like, out of curiosity, like, how did you find out about me? How did I find out about you? Yeah. Like, you fucking retweet everything. Like, you just come up in the fucking algorithm. <laughs> you come in the algorithm? I come up in the algorithm? Yeah, I remember you pretty you much DM'd me. Did I DM okay. you? Wait, wait, hold on. Let, 
go ahead and then I'll fit in. No, I like honestly I don't remember AD. Like um, you do come up like in the algorithm all the time and then you do generally just like respond to people. Um but uh, again you said I DM'd you so maybe. And then also um also, you DM me saying, "Yo, AD one be added to that group group chat, which is the commentary." By oh the yeah, 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 yeah. And then, yeah, and I, and, oh, and I didn't see it. if I would saw it, I would have said yes. But then I was in a VC with Prob, and like he told me about that group chat, and then now, and then now, like you know, yeah, that's how I got added to the group chat. I was like, oh, and then I started knowing you more and more. So. Yeah, honestly, I think like I you just ended up like because we follow like a lot. Well, you follow fucking everyone, but um. I think you just honestly popped up on my timeline or like Twitter yeah. feed or wherever the fuck you want to call it. That group chat is like, I don't know. I just iffy on it. It's like sometimes okay. And then sometimes meh. Yeah. Apparently you talk to people like Mama Max and Mudahar and like all these I, people. I, honestly, I'm like shameless about DMs though. Like if I have a question, I just fucking ask someone it, you know? And then like by, 100%. Chance, by chance it works out though. Some people get back to you. Some people don't. Well, because most of those people, like, I'm, I'm sure you know because you're a person that goes outside, but, like, people are just people. Like, they'll respond yeah. if they want to respond, period. My main big issue, um, like, actually, I think, like, the first, like, real job I got into was with a guy named Brit Bong. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. God, you said what? it. I'm, I'm going to go. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> what? No, but that's actually, <laughs> like, my first, like, drama. I, I It's, like, I have a forum on fucking Kiwi Farms because of it. And, Yeesh. um... It's because, like, the guy threatened me. He, like, threatened me on Instagram, all this shit, um, because he found out I, like, critiqued a video about him. And then a guy that, like, hated him was following me. And so we got, like, um. right back into, like, a back and forth with each other. Obviously, like, it was when I was doing, like, longer commentary videos. So I did, like, a longer video about it. And then, like, I got fucking ripped on by, like, his community. But then this, like, random portion of people, I have no idea who they were, started to comment on that video. So it just became this, like, big fucking cesspit of, like, two different communities fighting against each other. But then, like, me and Britbon ended up, like, working out the problem. Like, on our own, you know what I mean? And then just, like, decide to, like, fucking not talk about each other. And, um, but I reached out to a few people. Like, I was like, how the fuck do you deal with this guy? Now I just, I, I, it's pretty fucking apparent where I live, so I don't even give a fuck if someone doxes me. I got, like, four cops in my uh, town, and I'm white, so I'm not gonna have any issues. Oh, man. Yeah, no, fuck yeah. that shit. Mm -mm. But, Dude, um, my lore, my lore is, if I ever am, like, a bigger YouTuber, my lore is so good. Oh, my God. Yours? I got, my lore, I got... <laughs> Dude, I got called out by Death Noodles. Then I got uh, fucking called out by BX Bullet one time. This one was just a comment, but I'm I still counting it. Okay. Yo, then I had fair. the Salvo stream, and it's just like fuck. It's just crazy. Bro. Salvo like, stream was crazy when that I shit know. was happening that the way it did. Oh my god. Insane in the membrane, as someone put it. Fuck BX it's Bullet. <laughs> I had to message BX Bullet on uh, Twitch DMs for her to unblock me because I had no idea what I did to her. And uh, then um, we just like she's uh, yeah. she's dude like, she's fucking crazy. So one yeah, of her BX Bullet. sorry, yeah. go ahead. Go. So like I was being it was me and uh, Wildebeest on a stream. I was like kind of being critical of her. I'm like she just comes off as this like conspiracy theorist. I'm like sure maybe she was right about one topic, but like. Or one, like, fucking thin. But, I'm, like, most of her shit is, like, crackpot fucking theories. And, like, her, she had, like, followers in my Twitch stream coming in and be like, she's a great person and all this shit. And they're going after her family. I'm like, anyone who goes after people's IRL shit's, like, fucked, in my opinion. Like, regardless, yeah. I'll never support that if you do it, you're a fucking scummy person. But, like... She is kind of crazy, though. Like, Dude. actually, like, no, no, right. she gets really, she gets really mad about people saying she's a conspiracy theorist, yeah. and then she puts out on Twitter that there's organized cyber <laughs> terrorists, like, that was like stalking her. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> you mean just trolls, like internet trolls, like that's literally all they are, cyber, internet no, trolls, cyber terrorists. You don't get it, Abby. My my big thing about her <laughs> really? was like she thought like Twitch was like some pedo sex ring. 
I was like, I, where, where are you getting this from? Like, she's fucking crazy, bro. I'll I mean, everything's yeah. a pedo sex ring. Look underneath the surface. There's like seven of them there. I bet. Like, <laughs> that's one thing. Like, what do you, what do you want? Like, eh. yeah. obviously, there's an eternal issue of bad people. Like, I don't understand. I don't know. Maybe she yeah. just has like she got involved with a bunch of um, Q-ish people, and there just has a lock of bunch of them that have money and want to help her and you know research shit and she's hot enough to pass into you know wanting she to do shit for have, her like, and the sim there. element to her like stuff like she does mm-hmm. have yeah. it's just simply because she has sims though um, oh 100 what else you got for lore austin what he's austin or not Austin, fuck. I, I saw Austin's, like, name in chat. Oh. <laughs> um, Sailor, do you have any fuck more? Fuck you, Austin! Shit? No, just kidding. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of... Yeah, it's just... I, I had the Salvo stream, I had Death Noodles called me out, and BX Bullet, you know? That's pretty it's solid. Just, I know, it's just weird, because, like, when I started, I never thought I'd, like... <laughs> yeah, I just, like, I, I do not take it that seriously. I'd just be fucking around. But right, right, you're that's... telling me. I, I just went to a fucking live show. That's yeah. all I was trying to fucking do. Holy fuck. My shit on fucking YouTube started um, because I was just making YouTube videos and I had a Twitter because you need Twitter to network. And some yeah. guy reached out to me. He's like, hey, do you want to join an esports team as a content Dude. creator? So I was like, sure. And then so I ended up like networking with people from there. And then I ended up moving up in that team as like, you know, I mean, like managers and shit like that. And then I left that team, joined a different team. Long story short, left that team, joined a different team. And then now I'm with Catch Flight Crew. But like my like my merge into commentary started with like esports shit into like just stupid shit. <laughs> it was like such a random transition because I have like these Call of Duty fucking guys that I still follow that message me about shit like that. And I don't know. <laughs> I'm supposed to go on like an esports like podcast, but I don't know. Esports is kind of boring yeah. sometimes. I, I, I actually, like, I don't fucking. I find watching people play video games extremely fucking boring, to be honest. But fair enough. It's just not my thing. I like uh, I like to watch like Overwatch competitive every once in a while because like it's just every, things are happening like so fast. It just like yeah. stimulates me, you know. It's like lots of flashing colors. So just, like, <laughs> 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 you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm so stimulated, guys. I'm so stimulated right now. <laughs> I think, like, the only Let's Players I watched were, like, um, there's a guy named Pro Jared, and he did, like, a uh, Minecraft hardcore series <laughs> with, like, a bunch of other big YouTubers, so I watched that for a bit because it was funny. Pro Jared. And that was about oh, it. No. And John Tron. I found, like, John Tron funny, but his, like... He did more, like, videos rather than, like, Let's Plays. Yeah, so you watch, like, ga- you're a Game Grumps no, fan. I, I, no, I was never, like, Game Grumps. I always, like, I thought that was boring because it was just two guys literally watching and fucking playing a video game. I, like, enjoyed, like, more, like, comedy and humor, not, like, fucking fart jokes. Dude, unironically, like, Optimus put me in the commentary pipeline because, like, I started watching commentary because uh, <laughs> Optimus put out, the- I remember I was subscribed to Optimus. Because I like really, I was a big fan of Leafy, and then I've once Leafy left, I subscribed to like Scrubby, okay, yeah, and like Optimus and like Cyrus, all these people, you know. Mm-hmm. And then eventually, <laughs> Optimus did this video where he was like the co- commentary crusade Pokemon, I think it was. Oh yeah. yeah, it was Dude, so good. I, I don't know why I did this, but when I watched that video, I literally just went into the description, clicked on everyone's profile, and just subscribed to every single, Dude, every Optimus, single person. Like, and... During the Jalen drama, he joined. My, he found out through Nick because Nick posts like the Jalen yo, I'm gonna threat. Jalen's gonna be like, I'm gonna threaten to swap And then Optimus joined the server, and I was like, fl- fucking cool. And the VC yeah. together, and then yeah, um, and then and then he made and then he made the Jalen video late, later, like the next day, and then he he I got name dropped and. Optimus video. You did, yeah, you did. Recently? Uh, yeah, it's did. like a like maybe a month old now, maybe a few weeks old. Oh my gosh, that it was, was honestly like video, though. That was one thing with the deaf noodle thing. Like it wasn't even so much that like Charlie like Penguin Zero had seen me like quote unquote perform on stage. It was more like Optimus had seen me because o- Optimus was called out by Deaf. I was like, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh yeah, no. Yeah, that's so <laughs> fucking stupid though. Deaf noodles calling out Optimus. 
Well, he knows what he was doing, because then not only would it be a face reveal, it would get him numbers. He's not stupid. Well, he's pretty fucking dumb, but when it comes to numbers, Wait, he's not Optimus that dumb. Later gonna show his, he said later he's going to show his face, but who Optimus? knows? Optimus? He's been thinking. He's been talking about it, but I hope yeah. he doesn't do it like out of a whim because of the Cyrus shit. I know Cyrus. that shit probably have hella bothered. Yeah, him. that Cyrus shit was really because I know Optimus was really close to Cyrus and everyone yeah. like mm -hmm. it, was, it sucked what happened with Cyrus, dude. Like mm -hmm. Cyrus, like brothers, all these people like Aiden, Scrubby, um, you know, Diesel, uh, uh Patches, uh, Optimus, and all these people in 2018, 2019, um, Poncho, Dumpy, Jalen, mm -hmm. all these people. So, um. It sucks what he got out of for, uh, just because not only affects him and like the victims, it affects like everybody around him. Yeah. He blew up. Well, he's doing that creep show shit where he's just fucking dipping and he's just not gonna say anything. And I like I get it to a degree, but like also like I don't know, people like that don't change, man, and it's just unfortunate. Uh, yeah, true. Uh, Yo, I actually like st you can't make fucking fun of me about this one, but I started watching fact about Fico. delirious. Fun fact about Delirious, he has a southern accent in real life. Who? H2O Delirious. H2O Delirious. Oh, the... Oh, the, yeah. the Black hair, black, black the, hair the, southern yeah. accent, name's John. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what am I not him? making? What? Wait. I've met him. I've met the guy before. Oh, uh, what are the uh, I want to know what Badwick yeah. was saying. Oh, I said you guys can't make fun of me, but I started watching Philip DeFranco. It was like my way into like commentary. <laughs> Hey, uh, what's up, you beautiful bastard? Okay, no, so I got it. Yeah. Like, my whole thing with that guy is he had a fucking kid, and then he became a miserable fucking asshole. Because, like, you know, <laughs> the obvious... Yeah, well, I mean, that's what happens when you do. try to live in L.A. I mean, unfortunate. Does, like, he lives Can't in like, a gated community, though, or some shit like that. Like, actually in, like, white fucking suburbia. <laughs> <sighs> but, yeah. Yeah, I, well, they're all shell people. They're I could see that, Absolutely. Um, but yeah, I went from, like, Philip DeFranco to, like, Keemstar and, um, like, old Keemstar and, uh, Leafy. Because I, yeah. like, Me Philip too. DeFranco, I fucking watched me. He was, like, talking about the Kardashians when I started watching. Uh, yeah, like, dude, that was, like, his gimmick. I remember when I started watching Leafy, I was, like, a young fucking kid, right? And, what like, yeah. Because, like, I'm 18 right now, right? Yeah, so, Taylor. Oh, wait, I think we're yeah. the same age, Taylor. So. Yeah. <laughs> I was, like, a young kid. I remember I was literally, like, a, a white blood cell. Like, whenever I saw someone, like, <laughs> I would just, like, mauled about people criticizing Leafy all the time and be like, Leafy's the best. Fuck you. Uh, kill yourself. I mean, it was just literally, like, every that, that shit is funny, though. I know people were like, he's so bad and toxic, but it's fucking funny. Uh, yeah. uh, no, Leafy, though. <laughs> there was a point where I dislike leaf but then i was like i look back because of the eye that's contact cop ain't that bad. Like, but i was like in 2020 i was like this guy came back and i was like yeah you know i like this. i actually like this guy you know so i start, he, i think he's yeah. funny so oh yeah i, I forgot I like about eye dubs oh my god fucking kill yourself <laughs> like what the fuck <laughs> yeah no yeah. fucking what is it i dubs and um it's a gundam with, like some people i followed pretty earlier on too I never followed iDubs, only Leafy. Yeah. Only. <laughs> only well, iDubs is fucking I, I wish I watched, like, Leafy's videos in 2016, because I've, <laughs> I've heard him, because I, I watched, like, a completely different, because in 2016, I did watch YouTube, but, like, I watched, uh, like, like, another, like, other, YouTube, other big YouTubers, but, like, I wish I, because cause I didn't really know what the commentary community was till like, a late, year later, so, um, yeah. Do you like pina coladas? <laughs> <laughs> filthy Frank was okay. I, I never, like, jumped on, like, the Filthy Frank hype. Like, I don't dislike his content or anything. I just, I don't know. It was okay. Were you guys fans of, do you guys watch, like, H3 or something? Uh, I liked, like, I H3 skits. H3. Like, when he did his, like, comedy skits and shit, I was never a fan of the fucking show. Because a lot of people say, like, I used to watch H3 back in the 26th, the Vape Nation days and shit, like... Yeah. So was, like, and he yeah, just... back before he looked like he had a fucking stroke. <laughs> He's on antidepressants, mm. that's why he looks that way. That, uh, <laughs> uh, the he fuck? Ethan's always they... looked like that. But... So he has, a, he has a tick, basically, where he just looks like he's fucking... Blinking and whatnot. And yeah, the rats. I used to watch Desnate when um, Destry got outed. Is a huge poo poo on my junior high memories. 
You know, I remember <laughs> back in my day when YouTube first launched, I had a friend, he's like, yo, check out this guy on YouTube. I was like, back who is in my day. Back in my day when YouTube was first made, I watched a guy called the Angry Video Game, or Angry Nintendo Nerd, but you can't go by uh, that uh, name anymore because of copyright, so now he's the Nintendo Nerd. And I look back at it, I'm like, wow. And I used to watch the shit out of Charlie the Unicorn. When I used to get fucking True. Scared. Oh, I had a Charlie shirt. Oh yeah, no, same. I used to Charlie get the fucking awesome. rippled and like watch like with an axe of mine. Like Charlie the Unicorn and like I don't know if you guys know like what a uh, Venture Time is, but like yeah, Aven Venture and the Cookie like Network the show? original like YouTube like video of Adventure Time before the show was like a show. I used to get fucking stoned and watch that because they were just you know stoner videos at the time. Hell yeah. <laughs> Good times. And Lambas Who uh, Wear Hats was like another one that was like pretty fucking old and fucked up. Dude. Back in the oh, day. You made it to, I just realized you made it 500 subs. Nice, man. Yeah, I did that. I, I oh, always yeah. hate like actually like posting on it on social media because then yeah. you get people that like purposely unfollow you. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I like, yeah. I start to like avoid posting about like mod uh, that shit, but I got a comment here or a community tab now, which is Hell pretty yeah. cool. I can't wait till I reach a thousand subs, man. That's going to be dope. Hell yeah, dude. I'm like, how far away are you? Too far. Uh, too far. Yeah, <laughs> Sailor, I hope you make it with Waterball. I actually hope like yeah, Waterball like, like pushes you over. You I'm like ninety like, away. It. It'll push everybody over if it's let's go. Successful. Other than Every Orange Man, person. he's gonna lose subscribers because of me. <laughs> he has nothing on me. He hasn't even showed his face because he's a bitch. I have to face Jessica Pizzle. Everybody says she's smart. She, she's and then gonna destroy you. <laughs> Dude, and, then there's smart, the other half, and then there's the other half of people that say he's bad at explaining things. Now, let me give you all a little insight on the type of person I am. The worst person you could put in front of me is somebody who's bad at explaining things. Because I pick people like that apart. Damn. So here's the thing about Waterball. Here's my prediction on how all these debates are going to go. Some people in the competition might actually have, like, tried to, like, argue with, like, facts and shit like that and bring up, like, previous histories. The Rose other, bunk. Yeah, the other half is going to be, like, who can be the loudest, funniest, and get the fucking chat on their <laughs> side. True. I mean, I'm going to keep it a Tim Buck titty fuck with you. They probably all fucking suck. Like, I think, like, I, that's what me and Orange Man are going to boil down to is, like, who yeah. can make fun of each other the most. No, some people are going to, like, go in there, like, Pure, for the pure intention of lighthearted fun, but then some people are gonna like take this actually seriously and gonna be like, dude, eat it. I know Doc was today was talking about Spurg drama and how it's how it's dry, but like, dude, this is this is gonna revive it. This also yeah, it's gonna it. totally revive it. Yeah, cause for that very reason, <laughs> well, because there is gonna be people that are like, you know, what? you brought up my personal shit and then they did it. Shut up. <laughs> well, like, exactly. who are the people of actual real like drama is going into it? Cause like me and Orson, uh, I'm not gonna lie, we're actually lunar. Like, Parks, yeah, Lunar Parks and Murdoch Pop, I think, and I guess maybe maybe Fat Cat and Beaver Man. I'm not sure. Slug and Sega. I want to take on. Well, I, I'm looking okay. forward to taking on Jessica I, Pizzle. Just I thought Slug and Saggy said. had real drama, but apparently they're friends. So. Oh, okay. No, they yeah. don't. Um, Saggy's called Slug Streams. Okay, and you know what? I have hope in Murdoch. Proud. I said Lunar Parks before because Lunar Parks, you know, like just. Likes that, to um, chaos? yeah. He 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 just likes to cause likes chaos everywhere. But, yeah. He likes to fake a disability. He likes to fake a disability. I'm an I'm an entity of chaos. No, you're an entity of fucking retardation. Shut up, you fucking retard. <laughs> you're an entity of. Oh yeah, that's right. Because you were the one that was going against uh, that person with me. Yeah, you were being dumb I was. And, and you might ask somebody. I think that's how I found you through the Luna Park trauma. But uh. yeah, and then everybody was laughing because I was just fucking tearing into the guy. But yeah, go ahead. Thing. Sorry. God. I feel like fucking Pizzle will end. Like, Demented and Pizzle will probably have drama after this with each other. <laughs> uh, Dude, em Ember I and up. Leah. I pick people apart. I pick people apart that have trouble explaining things. I think Leah versus Ember is like, or Pizzle versus Demented will be probably the most entertaining. Yeah. If I would have to show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ember Dude, versus Leah is going to become a thing. <laughs> Rose you know and Bunk is going to be really autistic. Since people, say, since people say she's smart, let's debate on the subject of 
did the Crusades contradict Bro, one of the Ten dude, Commandments? A sailor, you know Rose and Bunk are gonna talk about some like trans shit and then yeah, I do. <laughs> it's gonna be really, it's gonna be like really autistic, but it's also gonna be it, that's either gonna work for it or work against it. You know? Yeah, no, like, they're gonna use this. They're gonna use your platform. Like where it's just like a fun blood sports match to like actually talk about some boring like, political, like, <laughs> yeah. just, like how it's flamenco. Where like they're supposed to set up the boxing match, but then they later talk on Stardust stream. They later talk about like animal rape and shit yeah, like that. Are you uh, talking about animal rape? What the fuck is wrong, us? <laughs> Dude, could you imagine like Bunk shows up to like a, like a, a real life press conference with like flamenco, and then he's like. Well, actually, your take on animal rape is hypocritical because no, no, that's what I said in the that's what I said in group chat to other people. I said that thing. Imagine a bunk employee goes like they're in like a boxing press conference, and then a bunk, and then they start debating about like you know, the, the ethics of like animal rape <laughs> and so like strange, veganism like, and like, like how the fuck am I hypocritical? I'm not the one into fucking animals. <laughs> are you uh, are you worried at all about having like CJ and Luke go against each other? Uh, uh, like the show. The, not really. The, the only thing I'm worried about is just being like super lame, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, just CJ, being how, lame. You know, yeah. CJ and Luke, because they're friends. CJ versus default Dan. I don't know. CJ versus. I don't know, man. I think if I do this again, I'm not gonna let people pick who they go up against. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, that was probably a mistake. But I mean, like even like the first fireball, like Salvo didn't really know what he was doing either. So like. Yeah. I don't know. It's a learning experience. You got, like, you're gonna get your fucking stones, like, laid. And well, and if, and if you don't really have a structure to it, or, like, whatever, one, we can talk about it, and I can help you out with that part of it, and two, we'll just, like, work it out as best yeah. as possible. That, and I don't, you know, I'm fucking... I've seen all the fireballs. <laughs> yeah, it was a shame. It, it won't be that I bad. Oh, okay. So who's Farmer Fletcher, by the way? Farmer Fletcher. Uh, uh, we're mutuals on Twitter, but uh, that's... Uh, Farmer Fletcher. I've been mutuals with him like forever. Who I is? Yeah, it? I've been mutuals with him for a while, but he's like he has like four hundred subs. Mm-hmm. He's just like you should pit him against Farmer Fletcher. Random. Like, uh, he just... actually dropped out, so he can't he can't make it. So oh, okay. That suck. Every uh, time you build a I'll... new fucking poster, someone changes their shit. I know. <laughs> bro, 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 no wait, hold on. Instead of Fat Cat, just be replace Fat Cat with Alex. And then... Alex, Alex didn't want to do it. He like. <laughs> Oh no! I know. Is wait, is Austin No Powers doing it still? Yeah, yeah, He's yeah. Going against power within. Power within. Power within's pretty uh, fucking entertaining though, because he just goes yeah. off. Yeah. It is. Oh, yeah, so my fake blood sports with him was honestly one of the best times I've had on the internet since I've like been in this little uh, space. Yeah. It was honestly so fucking fun. Yeah, Orange Guy and I are like, oh no, we're just gonna fucking chirp each mm-hmm. other for shit. He says my I'm fan excited. base is made off of made up of fucking thirteen year old thoughts. <laughs> I'm <True>. fucking dying. <laughs> That's me, bro. I'm the thirteen year old thought. I have no idea what power with it is gonna do. He's probably gonna bring up like SNT shit, probably. To be honest, yeah. And, yeah. Like, all that <laughs> no, he's gonna go on a whole month. He's gonna like. He's probably yeah. He's probably gonna bring up Austin beef with Alex with Zach and the whole SNT. He's gonna bring up all the times that Austin beef cringe and shit. And then he's probably gonna just go go off topic and then talk about something about Ralph or something. You know That's what probably- would be fucking solid though if Lunar Parks and. Um- Power within ended up getting like in a who a fucking fight. Because he <laughs> do they hate each other? Or... Yeah, AD yeah. space with him. Like power oh, within yeah. was like going off on lunar parks. God yeah, damn. so was I. I mean, were you in that added. space? Yeah, everyone. Just yeah, lunar parks. You know that uh, if I recall correctly, eighty thirty space with lunar parks. It began with me going off on fucking lunar parks. And then, yo, know, that's how I heard of Wise of Dementia. And then he, I heard Wise of Dementia did a podcast with Abby. And then, and then I started knowing more about this guy. So, like, that yeah. space is how I found him. Yeah, so far, 8030 likes me. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's just weird. I don't know. Do you guys think I should try and, like, get a last minute, some last minute people in? So uh-uh. that there's I think, I think working with what you got is going to be more than fine. Got I think yeah. we'll out as we go. Oh, throw in, yeah. Oh, yeah. Spondel versus, like, Sin. Dude, Mach- Spondel, Mach- Spondel, Mach- Spondel no. insulted the event. He, <laughs> he Spondel insulted. Spondel versus Snaggle. Imagine. He's, 
Gee, Maybe you good. can get a bunch of um like extras. What do they call like the backup people that are backups. supposed to? Yeah, backups be like you guys can be backup hitters if you guys want to come in or we just throw like oh my gosh like a <laughs> sorry random show Bachelor in Paradise where they just keep bringing random single people into the show to like <laughs> totally fuck everything up. Oh my gosh, that could be totally fun too. Yeah. Especially like, people like a spawn dial and shit. That'd be yeah, hilarious. bring spawn dial in as a wild card when it's like free for all blood sports. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, no lie, I'm watching some, like, fucking new dated Netflix show. It's actually so fucking good. I love reality oh, TV. Yeah. Which one? Uh, it's the one with, like, all the fucking losers <clears throat> from all the other Netflix shows. It's, like, Paradise something. Oh, wait, wait. wait. Speaking of Paradise, give Spondo versus Paradise. Oh, my God. Oh, my Is God. Paradise even still on Twitter, bro? Is who? Yeah, Paradise? he has, like, alts, I think. Paradise? I mean, I think they're... No, I think they're... They, it's, like... At a five block, okay. Did, didn't they deactivate like a couple months ago? But I swear I heard they were back. But they're not. But they said they're not going to be in the commentary. So they're at least like eighteen, which they turn eighteen in like a couple months. So in like July or something. That's great but, advice. <laughs> like I was talking to them in Bagel on like a space once, but like spawn down paradise. That would be the ultimate like debate. <laughs> Oh my god, they reactivated. Wait, there's no, I think is, is it the fake account? Um fuck. You deserve that heart attack. You were a drag like a freak to rainism. <laughs> oh my god. Jalen would that... be a good one to get on if you could convince Jaylen. her too. Really? But you'd have to like Austin and Jalen would have been like my pick for a fight though. Austin Jalen, but yeah. But like <laughs> I don't know if Jalen would come on. Jalen needs yeah. to, like, be less spurred. Jalen versus... Wait. Jalen versus Grimsy, I think. Yeah, yeah doing, like, a... Well, I guess they're kind of on... Dude, if, if I wasn't versing fucking Jessica, I would take Jalen on. I mean... Oh, oh yeah. and then... Oh, wait, wait. I was just how about uh, AC versus Scrimzox again? No. AC. <laughs> Scrimzox. Is Scrimzox still versus around? Versus... Yes, yeah, they are. Natty Forza versus AC. Is that the one where where AC totally fumbled the bag on that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, Dude, a lot of people... I, the Natty Forza stuff is so cringe to me. Because, so like... Uh, yeah. I don't think... Like, it's... Because, like, what they did was definitely, like, really weird and gross. But it's not, like, confirmed that they're a fucking pedophile, right? It's just, like... You should get Chris um, the Narc and Salvo. True. True. <laughs> <laughs> I, I honestly get the vibe Salvo's, like, salty about Waterball, though. Yeah. Uh, Salvo pissed hard. He can fucking suck a fucking fat <laughs> Yeah, I don't... I, don't think, I, would, I wouldn't even put that much energy into it. Yeah, that's... If I kindly shit on him, it's quite hilarious at this point. I still... <laughs> I, you know, I haven't been... I... What is what are your what are you guys' opinion on Salvo now? You know, it's just what like, do you think my opinion is since I was in your Twitter space talking to him? Uh, no, I'll just like talking about like the other people. He oh, exists. Rude. I don't know. Salvo news team, the Parking Tigers boys. What what are we talking about? Uh, uh just Salvo. In general, Salvo's, yeah, just Salvo's like cringe. Uh, I think he doesn't know the, what the meaning of a fucking rat really <laughs> is. Yeah, I think like, I still have hope in Salvo. You know? He wants to call me a fucking rat. Uh, Wait, go, no, go ahead, Taylor. Dude, I thought like the the reason his like bit before was good is because like uh, you know, I guess he was like he was presenting himself as like above all these other people, right? And that's yeah, why it was funny. I will he was, like, box him and turn his shit sideways. Yeah, but now it's like okay, dude, this guy, the the illusion's broken. Like everyone knows he's like a loser now, so right. like, it doesn't work. At all. That's why he would fit perfectly in like the pot awful community. You, yeah. you go do that, buddy. Yeah, yeah. I saw that pot awful poo poo test Salvo. This it was really funny. Like I think Salvo, I like, like on a space with like the Salvo Andy Worski pot awful. Um, and then uh PVP like he came up with that idea, or I think it was Jesse like Salvo Andy Worski pot awful PVP. No, it was pot so gross of a fucking stream though. That shit was actually <laughs> fucking disgusting. I did not watch it, man. It, it was actually fucking gross. I saw AD in the chat. Yeah. Wait, was it actually, like, 
It was I'm real shit. The word. It, it was like nope. real shit. Nope. Yeah. yeah, that shit was like, I don't know. It, it, like, I, <laughs> I get what AD is saying, though. Like, I feel like Salvo can, like, he'll make a comeback with, like, a niche community. Like, he'll always have fans. Yeah. Like, I don't think he'll fall off, per se. He'll never get to, like, the hype he was with the Keemstar show, but he'll exist. He'll become, like, Flamenco. Oh, okay. Uh, to, to answer your point, to go back to your point, too, I don't think he thought he was above everyone. It's just the people who are going after were, like, easy targets, like Flamenco and Death. Oh, yeah. Like, so, like, people would easily be like, oh, yeah, 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 Sal, this guy's pretty funny. But then he got exposed for his own shit, and then now, like, people only focus on that, and yeah. they won't find it funny. And he, they won't well, find him <laughs> into his shit anymore, but... Yeah, it's really hard yeah. to listen to Salvo, like, make fun of someone else for, like, I don't know, like, <laughs> like it, doing some degenerate shit when you know he's, like, the I ultimate degenerate. I want to box his fat, short, hairy, fucking retarded ass. Hell yeah, dude. Salvo don't <laughs> you gotta like fly out to Ohio. You have clout, though. <laughs> yeah, that's the plan. Get the clout, turn his shit sideways. Yo, I'm not going to the gym. He can't make me. <laughs> uh, when, when, like, you call a, somebody like me a rat, people like me take that fucking. We take that fucking person. Bro, no, he's into piss play. What do you fucking care what he says? <laughs> it doesn't mean anything. Like, it literally well, holds zero weight to anyways. It's like it's like calling someone a bitch in prison. Well, yeah, I'd still call a bitch a bitch. If you a bitch, you a bitch. Period. But it doesn't mean anything from a dude that fucking likes piss play. What do you like? What's it matter? That one would be fun to turn his fucking face sideways. I mean, bro, Iowa is looking like fucking Fallout Three at this moment. Like you can't go to that fucking state, dude. Don't go, bad. Like don't go to the gym. Go to the pool. Okay, the pool is awesome. Yeah, <laughs> so I, I like pools it. are really clean. Pools are pr- <laughs> 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 fucking three year old shits in the pool. <laughs> You know hey, what I mean, I'll have you know, if if a three year old shits in the pool, we put extra chlorine in and close for forty five minutes. All right, very hygienic. Oh my god, impressed. that's not enough. That's not nearly enough of anything. <laughs> I'm never going in a public pool ever again. Oh my god. I was impressed how fast they clean their pool. Like they fucking dump like chemicals in that shit. Yeah, you just like dump the shotgun and then wait like thirty minutes and then check the chlorine after the thirty minutes and it's usually fine. Again, like I don't know, man. Like, I'm comfortable. I know, like, the amount of fucking chlorine in a public pool is, like, good enough to, like, deal with shit. But, like, it's still icky. You still feel yeah. gross. <laughs> like, one of the, like, I mean... worst fucking experiences of mine was when I had, like, shit on my fingers for my fucking, like, kid when I had to change Your them. kid? And I was, like, <laughs> mortified. I, like, did not know what to do. I was like, oh my god! And I just, like, stared at my fucking hand. Is disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> now I just fucking deal with shit every Dude. day. I go to a pool five days a week. I like just swimming, not even working. You so. better be fucking ripped. If you're I'm not. not. I'm skin. I'm skinny, bro. I'm skinny. <laughs> it does not build muscle at all. Let me tell you. Oh, the pool is not for old people exercise. Okay, Cap City. Yo. I see you in the chat. <laughs> It's over for you. Uh, it's over for Yo, you. Yo, Capital City Pop is just like one of those like gym bros though. He just goes and he's like, I power lift, guy. Here's one. Yo, I used to swim all the time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dude, swimming is based. Yo, AD, you're a, are you a power lifter? No. No? I well, yeah, I see. No, I actually, well, I do go to the gym, but I just go on the treadmill and it's like, oh, I don't actually He's a content lift. lifter, not a power lifter, guys. Dude, lifting is actually also pretty based. I'm not gonna lie. I triggered Capital City Pop. He's gonna start sharing pictures on Discord of himself. <laughs> Please don't. Uh, you know, we get it. You're you you're, you're, you don't you know you gotta compensate for what's going on down there, but you don't have to. Like we, we, we're we're still gonna be here for you. Well, now he's gotta post a dick pic. Thanks. Yo. Oh no, I'm good. Either way, I'm sure it looks Capital like the rest City of them. Pop Great, congrats. Amazing. You can see how he looks. He has a YouTube channel. He is a Funko Pop YouTuber. Oh, oh great. <laughs> I'm very impressed. He's like, done. <laughs> Tell me about my place in society while you're at it, too. Jesus fucking Christ. Nah, Capital City Pop's the okay guy. Um, what else is it? Is it when is Christmas? Waterball? When is Waterball? Like February 24th? 24? Yeah, that's Friday. Eastern. 
or nine thirty. I've I've been saying nine p.m. But I assume it is will, nine. Is it nine? Yeah. I assume you want. Yeah, don't be late, dude. <laughs> it's eight sure. o'clock for you now, bitch. <laughs> Yo, it's so fucking late. I'm, like, so fucking tired. I expected this to be, like, a fucking 40-minute stream. Instead, I had a few laughs tonight. Fair enough. I've got to learn quite a bit about Jessica Pizzle, as I will need anything. Good luck. There's many years of of Pizzle's uh, existence online. Demented. If you want to get it, you just have to pay Slug for information on Jessica. Oh, no, 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 no. And then you can create a whole new drama with Slug. You can pay him money to get info on Jessica Pizzle. There you go. You got content for a month now, man. Because you know it'll be exposed after Waterball, after you lay out shit about Jessica Pizzle. Slug will then leak that you paid him for the info about Jessica Pizzle, and then now you have blood sports for at least two or oh, three that's weeks. the information you want on Jessica Pizzle. There's plenty to fucking laugh at her about. <laughs> don't 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 get personal shit. And here that's you the only thing that he's... he's going to beat me. <laughs> yeah, Jesus well, Christ. I mean, and... I'm just saying, if you want content. <laughs> Content, I'm gonna maybe. put a I'm gonna put Dude. a frown on her fucking face. I'm gonna put a frown. Do you know what she's face. known for? Like what her highlight is? No, I don't know Jessica Fizzle. Her highlight in the commentary community is calling Stardust a dirty brown bitch, and it was quite <laughs> hilarious. She's so you've got to learn how to like. I mean, I forgot about that. <laughs> you call somebody fat, you call somebody a brown bitch. I mean, yeah. You know, so she's a no, sport. no, 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 Abby, Abby, it was a dirty, dirty brown. Yeah, yeah, sorry, 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 dirty. yeah, of course, so. <laughs> yeah, I understand this yeah. is Tommy C's, like, uh, <laughs> stage, so, like, yeah. you get what you get. Uh, say any more, any more I need to know about her over there, she's fucking racist, and Oh, my God, nobody cares if she's racist. See, you're already <laughs> losing, you've already lost, nobody cares. You lost. It's over. Abby. Yo, you should get Maya on, she's a pretty big clout whore. Maya. Oh my god, no. Repsion's no, no, uh, no, no. Oh, no. yeah. No. Abby, this is oh, happening it. whether you like it or not. I don't care, but if you say she's racist, nobody's gonna give a fuck if there's spurgs that say that do n-word towers in every fucking chat. Nobody cares. That's what I'm trying <laughs> to tell you. I'm trying to help you out here. Can I can't even black me Alba should you on there? Just like that's this. That's true. I'm going to be down if I have Chad King versus Black me Alba. <laughs> 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 Abby just does not give me enough credit here. I mean, what no, I don't. I, I don't need to give you me. Jessica Pizzle's the queen. Do that bitch just help me out through so much fucking shit. I'm, and I don't tell people because it's nobody's fucking business. But that bitch knows what she's doing, whether people want to know it or not. Sailor, what about Domino versus Poser? You know, uh, Domino didn't. Domino and Poser didn't want to do it. So okay. Yeah, well, Abby, how about Mega Adams? Maggot, she wanted to do it. I'm gonna have so much fun just fucking. (laughs) I'm telling you, I contacted a lot of people in the community, bro. (laughs) A lot of, lot of people. Yo, AD30 versus the quarter. (laughs) True. (laughs) AD, would you debate that guy? Debate who? The quarter. Debate who? What? The quartering. The quartering. The quartering. The quartering. Would I debate quartering? I mean, I'll just make. I'll, I would just be like, "Hey, you piss in your face, but I have nothing to debate him about." Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> so, yeah. Like every, just let him go on. Like, just inter- interrupt him every like ten minutes, and then just like fucking uh, sailor could just insert his coffee ads in between, just to make sure he, you know, he gets the plug, and it just keeps going back and forth. This should be fucking hilarious. Okay. The pe- The piss basement, bro. God, he Rip. got so fucking mad Dude. at 80 30. So he's like, Recording is wild, bro. I'm not gonna lie, I'd be pissed if my wife went and got pizza without me, too. True! This <laughs> 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 is crazy. Yeah, I'm actually the thing is, for it. Yeah, dude, the only sad thing is, is like. Yeah, the quarter gets really drunk and, like, spurs out on Twitter, but he doesn't get drunk enough to, like, appear on a live stream or something, you know? Like, that'd be peak content if we could get, like, drunk quartering on a live. Do you remember when, um, Keffels thought she was debating him and it wasn't him? <laughs> no, didn't she fake it? She faked uh, it. She, oh, I was it remember. fake? 
Yeah, she went and like told, showed people how you fake tweets <clears throat> and like or DMs or whatever in like the the computer code uh, and HTML. I thought this was like actually on like a live stream of like VC, so it was like no. fucking with her. No, 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 that bitch has been so fake, bro. Uh, I can't stand her. Yeah. Ghosty like thinks she is like fucking hot. Oh. Ghosty thinks anything with two legs and gives him attention is <laughs> <and it's> hot. <laughs> To me, she has weird boobs. I don't know. There's this I mean, they're fine when she dresses up decent, but, like, anybody can make anything look but good. But there's, like, a weird gap thing in the middle of them. Why are well, they're not looking? real, honey. I know that. I'm just, like, it's too weird. Like, you would just stare at it. It's like, but I think that's the point. But, like, you're not staring <laughs> at it for a good mm -hmm. reason. It's like when you see, like, a cripple kid and you, like, stare at him. You're like, oh, oh my god. 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 <laughs> Yeah, but, like, gamer simp boys on Twitch is a different concept than random people on the street staring at a... I guess person. that's true. I guess none of you guys just yeah. drive around look at homeless people. That's my thing. That's how I, like, relax in a day. What the fuck is wrong with you? Me? <laughs> I'm, like, white and privileged. He's in the commentary community. What do you want from him? Bro. I'm white and privileged, and I don't change my behavior. Give me his not. fucking soul. How about that? I want his fucking soul. I'm not religious. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Give me that fucking soul. Did you grow up religious? Me? Mm hmm. Uh, like I think my dad's a, like technically a Protestant and my mom's a Catholic, but I mean they get pretty fucking butthurt when I'm like, "Nah, Jesus isn't real, guys." And they're like, "Why did you?" Because <laughs> you said you grew up privileged. I was like, I was wondering if you did grow up religious because I did too. So, so nah, my dad's just British and was like. Career fucking military guy, and then oh god, my and Jessica mom. says she's gonna be high during water ball. That's so hell yeah, she high. is. You no, should sir. ask her what she's getting high Absolutely. off of, and then you should like go way more extreme than her. So she's like, I'm gonna <laughs> smoke pot, you should just do fucking heroin and be like, I'm on, I'm ready for this. No, no, you shouldn't. Why not? No, not why not even in Minecraft, this? Abby. Why are you stopping <laughs> because, this? Like, cause I, I Abby, this is fucking content here. We are trying to, like, plan uh, waterball content. <laughs> yeah, great. You know what I'm gonna do? My first fucking commentary video is gonna be a chuck I told Demented. Oh, from life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's fucking bad week stuff. We were telling Demented, yeah, go smoke yeah. fucking heroin. Like, what the I'll tweet headline. it out. I'll tw I don't give a fuck. I'll tweet uh, it out right now. Smoking I'll be like, heroin? I think what? Demented should do heroin for waterball. <laughs> No, 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 dude, no, dude, I have a past with heroin. Well, there no, you absolutely go. not. I'm just saying, so no. you know, you know you would beat it. Jessica Pizzle's gonna be like, I smoked a joint guy, I'm so high. Yeah, but it's California greens, bro. Bro, I, like, I live in Canada. Or like fucking Canada. That's no super unfortunate, I don't know what to tell you. Your country, like, like, even was allowed to smoke. Or like, can of cringe. Can of cringe. Got him. It's Got true. Him. I I don't have a yeah. comeback for that. You actually, you absolutely Dude. made me speechless. Yeah, maybe get warmer. <sighs> I know it's yeah. still fucking maybe. cold and it's warm. It's still minus it's... like ten, and I'm like, this is fucking done. I hate winter. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> we had a person in my city get eaten by a bear. You know how fucked up that is. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah, the cocaine bear movie's supposed to come out. I want to watch it. When's it supposed to come out? I don't know. Oh. I've been seeing ads about it everywhere. I bet you it's gonna be like so fucking cringy. Moist Critical well, is gonna remember... make a video about it. Like, so guys, I saw the cocaine bear, and uh, it's a real it's story. Okay. Sure. Is it? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, because I remember. I remember story. when um my favorite murder of podcast I like really was into a few years ago. They did like a, a one of the side stories, and they told the story about the cocaine bear. It's it's a little different, like obviously because it's. Hollywood, but um, yeah. yeah, it's it's, but it's pretty similar. Fucking, uh, coke flew from the sky and bear ate it and coked up dead bear. Sad, sad dead bear. You know what my favorite yeah. real life movie is, based on a true story? Nicolas Cage in the World Trade Centers. <laughs> <laughs> I love Nicolas Cage in anything. He is my favorite fucking actor. Hell yeah. What the fuck, bro. All right, Dude, I think I'm going to bed. Alright, good night, Badwick. What I'm going to bed. Thank you guys for coming on. I finished my Pringles. I'm cold. I'm going to bed. Keep the lot up. <laughs> Fuck you, Capital City Pop. Uh, go make Bad fucking fuck the lot videos up? again. Sorry? Are you keeping the lot up? The lineup? 
Are you Nevada. Cut, he's he's gonna re, he always re-uploads it on. I mean, yeah, I know page. you always re-upload. Oh like, yeah, I mean, yeah. Nothing went down in this vod. It's gonna just stay up on fucking Twitch. There's no reason for it. I like Cox. <laughs> <laughs> well, Spaceman for Waterball too. Um, Spaceman versus Kelly. Imagine. Yeah, that'd be good actually. All right, yeah, everyone. I'm going to bed. Thanks for hanging out on this chill stream tonight. Peace out. Good night. Vod will stay up because you know there's no reason. I for fucking it love Cox. Goodbye. Peace out, Adwick, wise of the mentioned assistant Taylor. Thank you guys. All right. Have a good night, everybody. Sleep tight.